be on YouTube. YouTube is the platform that screws everyone. Yes. <laughs> Which I just click a button, it goes, and then YouTube, it's just like, oh yeah, we're gonna make you just. It's oh, gonna yeah, be an yeah, awful experience for you. Okay, I yeah. think it's good. I think we're good now. All right, I'm gonna quickly. Probably open stream. Link, so. Wait. Uh, what's that thing called for Discord? There's a stream kit overlay that you can have. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly do that. Oh. Possibly. <laughs> Okay, everything's popped up now. Everything's good. Nice. What's going on, City, Robot, Axel, Lado, Sustus, and Puinga? Welcome to the stream, guys. Okay. So I guess I'll probably... Yeah, I need to add you on here. That's right. Yeah. I think I might have sent you, like, a friend request, like, a while ago. Like, when you stopped playing. I was like, oh, okay. Great timing. Yes. <laughs> I have a bunch of friend requests, so maybe you're in here somewhere. Are you IGAF? Yes, I am. All right, cool. Dope. Yo, PhD Absolutely. and Matthew, what's going on, guys? Okay, so I'll join you. You can invite me. Okay. Because I feel like you'll probably have better internet than me. Uh, I haven't got like much. Wait, what's your up and down? Uh, I'm like, it's it's it ranges from ten to twenty up, and then we have like two hundred okay. down. So. Okay, your internet is much better than mine. <laughs> okay, then you can join me. <laughs> yeah. I'll join you now. I should be fine with streaming because there's nobody else in my house right now, so I'm the only one using our internet. Yeah. So I should be fine. Yeah, I think Yo, what's going on? Shadow like... and uh, Matthew and welcome to the stream, guys. I think my internet's more like uh, 70 down and like 10 to 15 up. Yeah. Well, okay, what gobble bad, should I run? Um, bullet boost for sure if you have any. I know you were running I low don't. yesterday. That's the only issue. Okay. Hmm. So I'm gonna try to have to make this work without it. Yeah, I mean, I reckon you could probably uh, get the waff them if you don't mm -hmm. have a boost. Yeah, I could try to do that. So I'll rock crate power. Um, do you think I should do perka over like unquenchable? Um, I don't think it really matters. It's just that again, you're going to be getting your perks a bit slower. Yeah, I'll just do perka. It's easy. Um, yeah. I'll probably keep alchemical. Yeah. Then, Alchemical and cashback would be useful. Cashback as well. So we and then should I do wall power or not? Uh, I'm avoiding wall power just so I can have uh, cashback available. That's a smart idea. What what should I do for my last one then? Um, do we do fire sales on this one? I mean, I could switch over my alchemical to uh, fire sales so you can get waff a bit quicker and we yeah, won't get I, like, I have a free spot, drops. so I got nothing to... Yeah, I've also got a free spot, so... So I'm just trying to figure out what would be a good fifth one to have. I don't know if pro. No, I don't think profit sharing would be. be no, I don't there. think I don't so. Think we'd need that. There's not that many doors. Yeah, and it's it's not. I think you get like enough points by about round four or mm -hmm. five to open up the entire map. What about so. Phoenix up? Would that be good? Um, I could I could probably rock that, but I'm not sure what I'd trade out for. Yeah. Because if you're going to be using the WAF, then be a bit like easier for me to have phoenix up but then i've got emulation yeah. on so you can get the waff a bit easier okay um then i will i'll just rock like oh gosh will be because i don't even know if this what last one would matter yeah i mean is, is there like... any other ones that you can get like max damage from i guess raindrops but <sighs> yeah raindrops probably or even i'm feeling lucky but like that's random yeah Raindrops is kind of the only one. Yeah, how many raindrops do you have? I, I have two. two so. I could rock yeah. them. I, mean, I, I got feel like that might be like the sort of like later on if we yeah, really I'll, desperately I'll, I'll throw it on there. I doubt I'll use it, but like just in just in case, you know. Yeah. Let's right, go to Nathan a... and Jay and Turtle Wonderwolf, Seth, Alex, George, Blue Octopus. Welcome to the stream, guys. All right, so we will do private. We'll do Verrucked. Oh yeah, shadows are evil. That's my yes. That's that's a that's, that's a good theme. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm ready whenever you are. So. Yeah, I am as well. All right. Cool. Let's go. 
think I think we're covered with uh, immolation. I got fifty one. <laughs> yeah, I got a ton of them in that like seven that they gave out. Oh yeah, that was that a great. Was so thing. nice, dude. That was yeah, probably the I best. I I was sat there. I was like, okay, you can get like two perkers. Don't really need perkers because I'm just gonna close up if I don't go to like a high round on solo yep. or whatever. But then I'm like immolation. Seven. I just want loads of like, them. What was it? Yeah. One killing time or something? Oh yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, I just spammed immolations out there. Mm -hmm. How's it going, Tootsie? Welcome yeah. to the stream. And Aeolus, welcome. Good day for the cookbook. It, that was a really good day. It's been pretty good lately, not going to lie. Yeah. I'm really sad that I didn't capitalize on the bullet boost when they were there. Oh, yeah. They had bullet boost, create power, and wall power for a while. Yeah, I seem to be running out of it like more often than I even mm -hmm. like notice. Yeah, it's like I... I'm, I'm kind of sad that I don't have a lot of bullet boosts is the problem. Yeah. Because, like, I want to I mean... Do, I was doing Shinonuma yesterday, and, like... Oh, yeah. That was fun, but, like, I didn't get dead wire. And, like, had I gotten dead wire, I could have survived way longer. Yeah. I remember the days when uh, dead wire was just trash. <laughs> Piece of trash. Oh, dude, yeah. I, I think back to, Black, like, Black Ops 3 when it came out, and, like, how dead wire just killed, like, one zombie at a time and like how zombies could slow you down when you ran and they hit you oh yeah that think, was such a dumb mechanic back those days that was the game was completely different back then yeah yeah was this perk a first hit oh that was crate power god damn it <laughs> i was really hoping i saw the yellow what's the best perk setup for knocked no jug i mean probably like widow's Double tap. Double tap. Oh gosh, what else would you run? Stamina up, maybe. Yeah, stamina up would be good. Run out. I don't know what else really. I mean, I don't really think there's much for that. PhD. PhD. Yeah, I, can't, I don't really know what would be good for a, um... For not. Nax. Yeah. I mean, probably, I would I would imagine Widows would be good. Although, I don't know, with how tight that can be, that might screw you over. Yeah, I mean... God. Um... I don't think it'd be that important, really. I mean, Widows isn't, like... It isn't I think helpful. the shot, it's not... It's difficult to think about like what perks you'd use really because it's like not really many is actually that useful on that mm -hmm. really Nox think about it i mean map. especially yeah. if you're not doing jug like jug is very helpful but jug is essential. yeah so i mean i guess you could rock out widows because it's not like it's a particularly fast-paced map so no it's definitely not i would say probably widows quick revive either stamina up or double tap and then maybe yeah. like speed pull or something. I don't know. That faster reload could be nice. But if you get a weapon with, you're probably gonna run the RK5, so you don't really need speed cola. Yeah. And stamina. When well. I, when I saw people going for high rounds, I think they're rocking out Thunder Gun as they as their third mm -hmm. RK5 turn and uh, Shiva Deadwire. I feel like that would that would run pretty quickly. Yeah. Widow's quick stamina Widow's double quick tap. Stamina. That's probably what what I would think would be a good setup. Cause like the rest are kind of just you don't really need them. Like, you don't need yeah. stamina up. Double tap's nice for the alternate ammo, but you don't need stamina up. But, like, you know, you Not might as well really, take no. it. You've got I think stamina's else. probably one of the best ones for it, just because there's not really anything else. Mm -hmm. Stamina up's such a good perk when you when it comes down to it. Yeah. Alright. There's a neat curve. Jake, that. what's going on? How you yeah. doing today? Yes, my favorite map is that's about no Shima. Oh my god, imagine going down on round four. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Not paying attention. <laughs> it happens, you know. Yeah, I think it was my first attempt at Shinanuma when Chronicles came out. I down around three. I'm gonna grab that new just to be safe. <laughs> yeah, dude, it happens. You know, you just, you're just taking the atmosphere sometimes, and then the zombies come out of nowhere. Yeah, especially when you get those like Usain Bolt zombies, and it's just like, all right. Yeah. You need to relax, dude. Yeah, relax. <laughs> well, the world of wrecked anyone. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're on every map now. There's oh. always one zombie on like round four that's just sprinting. All right, I got Perka. Nice. I still haven't got Perka. Yo, what's going on, Batman? How you doing, man? Well, I get it this hit. Yeah, I did as well. Oh shit. Oh, shit. 
imagine going almost going down again. <laughs> Jesus, when going down, <laughs> grabbing your pergolic. Yeah. Right. 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 I'll stop buying doors up. What would you swap out for quick revive? Well, you don't want to use quick revive, then like. Mule kick, maybe. If you want to rock three yeah, guns. Do you want me to buy this door? Uh, I think that door stays shut. That one stays shut, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Because then we can camp in, um, in kitchen. Yes. Until probably about 40. That's probably a good idea. I think we could definitely get 50 on this game. Yeah, definitely. 50 is kind of um, easy. Alright, so I'll open this door down here. I'll open the other half of the map over to kitchen. Okay, nice. Um, ooh, what gun setup? Because you're going to be getting the wolf, so I'm going to have yes. to get emulation in a sec. So I'm gonna I think the to easiest for, way... For, uh, yeah, you need to get power crate power, yeah. Yes. I should be able to get it quickly because it was my first hit, so... Oh, yeah. I pretty much cycled yeah, through all my like gobble, gums, gobble gums, gums almost. Yeah. Um, one for point building. Yeah, I don't think you need points in this. So. Where are the shield parts for this map? I know, right? Could you imagine if they had put the shield on all the old maps? That would have been... That'd be overpowered. For a map like Ascension. Oh my god, dude. Ascension would be ridiculous. Put, put the dragon shield in it. Oh god, yes. That's all we need. Be beautiful. Right, I'm gonna hit Gobble Gun Machine, hopefully I get emulation. Yeah, that's probably a good set up there, Scope. That's probably a good one. Whoa, I got crate power. Oh, he's wild. I mean, the problem with using um, no wall power is the fact that you have to then get the oh, wall weapon. weapon. The box, yeah. yeah. Well, that's not too difficult, I don't think. It's not that hard. There's so many wall weapons in the box. Yeah. I think the... Three wall weapons by kitchen is ICR, Vesper, and HVK, so. Dang. So you pretty much just got like a. It's a pretty you're, solid. You pretty much group, guaranteed though. those at some point in the out of the box. Yeah. yeah. They're pretty common. Right. Let's see if I can get at least one of them. <laughs> pretty early on. Got the VMP, damn it. <laughs> the one that you don't want. Yep. <laughs> the one wall weapon that you don't want at all. Of course, it gives you that one. Because why would? If it gives me like all of the ones like that, I really don't want. Yup. Like, oh, Sully gives me the Can Forty Four, Cuda. So you need the oh, what is it, the oh. HVK ICR or Vesper? Yeah. Gotcha. I just realised that I still got like you know the recon the scope on all of them. Yo, what's going on, Breeze? How you doing, man? I prefer the remakes over the originals. It's debatable. It depends on the map, really. Like, Origins is kind of like, I don't really like the remastered Origins too much. It's okay. Yeah. Could be better. But, like, I think they have a couple things they need to fix with it. But, like, yeah. these Water War maps I really like someone. more than the originals. And, like, I don't think I'd ever play Original Ascension again or, like, Moon. It just, they, the just new ones feel it. sleeker. Like, Shang is one that I would probably go back and play the original on just because it's entirely different with, like, PhD. Yeah. But like, most of the maps play the same, just updated graphics, and some of them are like on a more smoother engine. Especially the World of War maps, dude, like, because World of War's engine is so buggy. Yeah. World of War is just... It's a, it's a bug heaven. It's, it's a real <laughs> mess. Yo, what's going on, Gerald? How you doing today? Welcome to the stream, man. Alright, let's hope for great power this time. I think Sheena Numa is the least buggy on World of War and it's still pretty yep. bad. Oh, it's still a mess. I think this is crate power. Yes, okay, I got crate power. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to try and get um, HVK before I, before you start spinning for the wall. I'll be fine for now. Yeah. I don't know why I'm using the recon scope. I think it's just put it on yesterday just because I was like, eh, it's something different. How many times did I hit the box and I've already got the teddy? What? That's crazy. Hang on. Thank God for Widow's Wine, because i got to figure something out right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just standing here getting... Okay. Wow. Oh, Are you serious right now? 
You wanna do a close out? Uh, yeah, at this point. It, yeah, that's fine. It's so stupid. I've got people joining our Discord server right now, like in the middle of streaming. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I literally set this to only allow myself in here, and for some reason other people are allowed to join. I don't understand that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I haven't really used Discord like all it's, that much. It, I, I, there's some stuff about it that I don't understand. Mm. Like I've only really used it for like IRL stuff, and then I joined uh, your Discord and Frenzy's one, like yeah. the other, like about a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And that's like the only time I've actually used it outside of talking to IRLs. Yeah, it's nice. I like it, but yeah. there's so many things that I have to try to figure out with it. Yeah. I guess that's what happens with a new platform, so... Uh, I'm good now, Seth. I just had to limit the room. It's all good. Okay. Hopefully we'll get Parker earlier soon. Yeah. I think I got mine on my fourth or fifth. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I, I got feel like it would be useful late. to like um, work out gobblegum cycles as well, but I don't think that's mm -hmm. too much. Of I've an never issue. been able to figure that. Is there like a way that like that yeah, to make that actually work? I only learned it the other day, but it's like your first five gobblegums obviously going to be all different. Yes, and then uh, like after that, then you it's it. All right, so <laughs> let me start that again. <laughs> yes. So you got your first five gobblegums. Uh, they're like. That's one cycle. Yep. So every like sort of set of five gold gums is its, it's its own cycle. Okay. So it won't, it won't repeat that order, or it could do out of like chance. But it'll be like your sixth gold gum hit will be the start of the second cycle. Yes. And it it's like a one in five chance of uh, any of your gold gums, mm -hmm. and you won't be able to get that uh, gold gum again until the next cycle. That makes sense. Okay. Because yeah. yeah, I've I've noticed like people talk about gold gum cycles, and then people are always like. Oh yeah, it's like there's a certain set way to it, but I'm like, it just seems so sporadic. Yeah. So that that I mean, actually makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I remember I I went onto the Reddit because I was like trying to understand it, mm -hmm. and there was there was a few people that were like saying, oh no, it doesn't work, like this theory. I'm just like, yeah, it does. Yeah, it's just because <laughs> it's, it's just getting confusing it's now. When you get to the next cycle, then it's like it's random again. Okay. Yeah. So you could have like a chance of getting the same gobble gun back to back. Yep. Or, like, or you could have like a gap of like 10 gobblegums between, well, not 10, but close to 10 gobblegums between like the same one. Yep. So you could get uh, alchemical at the start of one cycle and the end of the next. And then, yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, yeah, that's that's quite a gap between those two. Yeah. So I can see how that messes people up sometimes. Yeah. Especially when so you I feel like, rounds. yeah, like super high rounds, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. sure like gobblegum like just rng is plays a much bigger role than yep expected yo what's going on uh mate how you doing today and uh try hard how you doing it's my highest soe solo 98 that game oh, damn, that, was close. that game made me so mad dude i played for <laughs> so long i was like i think i streamed that and i was playing for like hours on end like it was a six hour game or so it took yeah. me forever, oh, okay. and then are we, just, are we on the we right side? Yeah, we spawn the wrong side. Okay, should we end? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I figured we had to spawn on the right, the correct side. Yeah. Yeah, no, that game was terrible. I, I played for so long, I was so tired towards the end, and then I died on 98, and I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I think yeah. it was six hours, and I only had two more rounds to go. It's the worst feeling. Did you, um, were you running in Subway? Um, the, I was running the, uh, 5 and 5 strat. Okay. Where are you? Yeah. And Thank you so much, Seth, Del for the $5 Ray, donation. I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, dude. Can we get some love in the chat for Seth? That would be freaking awesome, boys. <laughs> Seth, I love you. <laughs> Seth is a baller, dude. What's going on, Purple Agent? Yeah. How you doing, man? All right. Now I'll I'm start really glad I got a hundred on shadows before they patched loads of things on it. Oh my god, dude! It's it'd be awful to do it now. Yeah, like I think it was before Chronicles. I was just sort of like, I'm just gonna do like a chill shadows game, just run in the subway, sort of like 
just, I like, just like don't even want to play any of the original Black Ops 3 maps anymore. Yeah. Like, I don't know. There's just part of me that's just like, now that we have all these Chronicles maps, it's like, these are all I want to play. Yeah. Like, I know I'm going to go back to them. I just mm -hmm. don't know when. Exactly. At some point, I will. Hi, Dar. What's going on? How you doing, man? And as much as... Because I really hated Gord Crowby on release. Yep. But then I, like, started to like it a bit more after they start patching stuff, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. It's a bit... It's more <laughs> um, enjoyable now. Yeah. It's, it's very difficult now, apart from the fact that you'll you got freezes in, like, mid-70s or something. Yep. Which is a pain. Um, but now I think that might be one of the only maps I'm going to go back to. Oh, we'll patch that. Yeah, so. I think Gorod Krovi would be a lot of fun to go back and play and try. Like, I would, I, I think Gorod is the one that I just could never see myself getting a high round on. Yeah. It's such that a difficult That is a really map. difficult map, yeah. Because there's just no good wonder weapon. Like, 50 is easy. Because yeah. you just can't with the Mark three. But yeah. the once you get past that, then it's think it's real hard, especially yeah. since they patch bunker strategy. With the valves. I mean, I still I, I still use like bunker strat is literally the only thing you can really. You can use. still run it. It's just a lot harder now. You have to be a lot more like careful. Yeah, I've seen I mean, it, it it still feels like it feels like still kind of nice, and like Valkyries aren't too difficult to mm -hmm. deal with. It's, but it's not like, like they spawn in like crazy. Yeah, but you get some freak downs down there. Yep. Like, you're like, everything's fine. Oh, let's just use a gauntlet on a Valkyrie. Mm. It, it, it seems like it should be a good idea. And then it usually like, isn't. When I, well, and oh it gosh, what game that? I was playing... I was playing some map. I think it was a set. Yeah, it was Ascension. I was playing Ascension. I decided to bring out the Annihilator at one point and got myself downed. Oh, yeah. That was a real quick Annihilator. Way to have that. I was on a good round, too. Yeah. Set up for a high Annihilator. Round. I wish they put, like, a good specialist weapon in Honestly, these. It, it bothers me that they did that. Like... I'm not asking for something overpowered, but like it, they should have made the annihilator better. Yeah. Like made it like home in on the zombies or like yeah. have more damage to it or something. I I had a, I I had a thought. I think it was on like a, a stream the other day when I was talking about it. I think it was on my Ascension one. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was just like, it'd be a cool idea if they made it so it wasn't like it was like a pretty average weapon against like just typical zombies, but it's like. It dealt with like the sort of special zombies, Ooh, so it'd be yeah, like, like the monkeys, or something, in, like one shot napalms. Or something. Yeah, that would be a cool so way anyway, to like, make it work. It, it would give it a use because yeah, it would have no something to be better than just like, oh, it's this extra gun that doesn't kill anything past like thirty, not even. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty trash. Like, I, I think uh, I tried on my Shang game. I was like, oh, let's see how many shots in the head it would take. I think it was like thirteen. It's crazy, like, like how bad it is. Because I I like using yeah. it sometimes. Like when I get it on the giant, I just kind of pop zombies a couple times with it but it's like yeah i can't use it viably in like higher rounds it's just one of those like guns that i just screw around with really yeah i think the only problem with them adding specialist weapons it could just make it really dumb easy but oh then my God, yeah like if they put the freaking like sword or the skull in one of the maps like yeah ragnarok's even yeah even rags i think would make it super easy what's going on gaster how you doing today Everyone remembers how uh, Ragnaroks were back in uh, Revelations. Oh my god, dude. Uh, freaking <laughs> so dumb. The spawn strategy. I remember yeah. spawn strategy pre-patch before they put that extra spawn in. Because they have one that's it's... like where they spawn next to the teleporter. And like now, yeah. they start spawning on the other on the origin side and then teleporting over. And it's it's yeah. awful now. But I remember I mean, it's when still, they used It's still not come. bad because that's what I rock out still. But... Mm -hmm. And like they would... Now they also spawn, like, they'll come out of the windows in spawn and then have to run all the way around the map to teleport. Oh, to yeah. Because you have that door closed. Before it was just they would come out of those two windows, and that was, like, that was the god tier camping spot. Yeah. Yeah, that's now awesome, Jermaine. Now you have to rock out Varuk, which is what we're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know that straight enough, so I haven't really touched Revelations mm -hmm. since. Rev is, I don't know, I haven't, the only, I've only done the spawn strategy on Rev. I've tried writing, like, Kino stage, but there's just too much stuff there. Yeah. And Wasn't like, there that, like, bug where you stood in a certain spot, they just stopped moving? Yep. Yeah. I, I didn't play Rev enough to, like, notice a lot of things, because I'm pretty sure I only just sat on the pad for, the, like, every single game I played. Oh, Rev had so, so many glitches. Yeah. It was insane how many glitches there were in that map. And it still, to this day, has so many glitches. Yeah, some of the Black Ops 3, really. <laughs> oh, so much of Black Ops 3. 
like, they now have the invisible fury glitch, where it's just, you walk into the apothecary and they die instantly. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. It's my favorite one. I haven't, I mean, I haven't played Revelations <laughs> since, but like, I think the last time that I played Revelations was, oh god, when was that? That was months ago, at least. Yeah. How long has it been since uh, Rev is like eight months now or something? Yeah, it? it was September when that came out. That's crazy. Like, that's insane. That was literally like, yeah, eight eight or nine months. Yeah. I remember being so hyped for it to come out. Oh my god, dude, the, the trailers were amazing. And then it was just like, after a week, everybody was just like, alright, this is pretty awful. Yeah. Because the Easter egg took a week to solve. Oh my god. I'm looking for that stone. That was the worst. It was the worst. Yeah. I think it was one of my friends found that, like, and like uh, uploaded a video to YouTube because I think he was like the first person to find it. Mm -hmm. But like, no one gave him credit for it. Yep, I remember hearing like, about he, that. He got like, I think he got like 15k views in this video, and everyone was just like instantly nabbing it and just like, okay, that's cool. Yep, because he's not like a Reddit guy, so if he was oh, on yeah, Reddit, friend, he'd probably get like. That happened uh, with my friend Luna. He found the Apothecary Servant upgrade like three hours before anybody else, and then yeah. like four people just stole credit from him and we're just like yes. yeah we were first in the world to find this and it's like no nah, you really weren't because like i saw the reddit post that he made like three hours yeah. before anybody else yeah that's a shame mm -hmm. yo what's going on that's what happens doing, sometimes man? and david mustaine welcome to the stream yeah it does and it really sucks that that's the way it, things are real dave mustaine isn't it the real <laughs> dave mustaine <laughs> yeah. i got immolation so you can hit for great bar sweet i think great bar should be my next one too yeah. If I'm not mistaken here. Or of course it's not. It's going to be cash. No, it's going to be raindrops. Okay. Well, nice. I'll just open up the rest of the map then. Alright. Welcome back, Batman. I think the best way to make emulation work on this is just like cycle between different box locations. Mm, try to find cause... a spot where there's two boxes close enough. Yeah. Because uh, what I do usually is um, I usually hit the one down like in the mule kick room. Yes. And then I run, I run over to where the jug um, box is. Oh yeah, because there's one. Wait there. and see. Yeah, I wait and see if it's uh, like whatever gun I need. And then I go in there and then hit that box. And if yep. not, then I run upstairs and then it's and then I like cycle between the three. I always forget there's so many boxes on this map. Yeah, they're all really, all really close together. like yeah. It feels so weird having a perkaholic and no electric cherry. Oh yeah. I mean, electric cherry causes bugs. So. I, I, I much prefer not having electric cherry. Yeah, I, like I mean, it, it was cool a mob, but it's just yeah. it, it gets if annoying. It like after any a while. Mobs for that map, yeah, because it's like when you're on the last zombie and then you reload and it kills it, and it's like, oh, okay, well, it's not like I wanted to save that zombie or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Davis, how's it going? And Nub Slayer, welcome. Problems using Perkaholic and Origins doing yes. their uh, ice stuff upgrading in particular. Oh. Oh, dude. And win stuff for that There's matter. So much actually. stuff you have to do on Origins, it's crazy. Yeah. Apparently, in the recent patch, they fixed some of the ice stuff bugs. I've Not seen. Ice stuff, I've just, heard about that. Yeah, just uh, bugs in general. I don't know why I specifically said ice stuff. That's like the only like stuff. That well, I mean, that's anything. the one that majorly glitches out. I know Wind Staff has been like causing invisible zombies in high rounds, but yeah. And I, I'm assuming Fire Staff still probably has the same G Strike or the G Spawn error. Yeah, probably. I don't think I once even try it to be honest. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I've heard some people say, but I I've never I haven't seen like full confirmation on this. Also, I got crate power, so nice. Right, so we save his army in this round then. Yes. Nice. Yeah, they 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 really pick up the pace here on this map real fast. Yeah. Doesn't take long. This map on solo is, is really nice because it's like, it's very quick first few rounds. Oh yeah, yeah. Things it's such fast. a small area. Yeah. It's Yo, a nice change compared to every other map. Yeah, it's crazy is that. <laughs> this is a good map. I like Varrock. If you like, I think the reason that I never really played much of Varrock is just because I was never really good at it. Yeah, same. But it's like once you kind of know how to play the map, it gets a lot more fun. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think Varrock's probably, like, one of my favorites from Chronicles. Mm-hmm. De they definitely did a really good job on it. Yeah. Alright, I'm out of zombies, so... Yeah, I think I've got the last. Sweet. I, I hope I do, anyway. 
It's a walker anyway, so I don't even... I don't think it's last, but it could be. Oh, no, we've got two walkers. That's fine. This is 100% a fake stream, guys. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm popping immolation. Sounds good. Should I make... I should make the Wonder Wolf not my third weapon, right? Uh, yeah, make it like your... Second or like, I think. Yeah, I already bought first a third one, so... Yeah. Right, BRM... Yeah, I think I, I was messing about with uh, a friend just doing like a... I think we we played Varumpt yesterday, just like mess about, just chill out, just have like have a chat. Second and, hit. Um, oh wait, did you get her? Second hit. Oh my god. Jeez, RNG man. kings right here. Well, I'm gonna hit for a crate, uh, crate power then. Try it, oh my dude. god, I think I just got it. No, I got Perka! Oh, oh rip. I thought it was yellow, I was just like, oh my god, I swear to god, if this is it. What? How I reckon... lucky can one get, dude? Right. Like, and that's insane. That... That's purple. Damn it. That's actually insane. Yo, I think I'm gonna hit you done, man. machine again. <laughs> it's all about that combo machine. Power. You got the points. Yeah. And I didn't get it this round. Oh well. That's fine. I got an ICR. I guess that's okay. Should I try and end the round? Try and get cash. Uh, uh, whatever you wanna do. Yeah. It's up to you, dude. got a boss, so. Yep. We're good. Yo, Ken, what's going on? How you doing, man? Right. Let's hit the box. Hit Gobble Gun Machine. Hopefully it's... No, it's not. Oh, it is yellow. Oh, no. It's an M8, though. It's an M8. Uh, rip. That is a shame. Ooh, I can hit the Gobble Gun Machine. So, like, what else should I try for? Uh, I think monkeys next, I guess. Monkeys but I'm not really sure if it's that good on this map because you haven't really got much time to throw on. Yeah. Could still be worth it. Yeah. You never know. Alright. Hmm. Wonder what else you need. I guess because uh, you're going to be having. You got Waff, uh, the Waff, I yeah, guess. So you'll probably take the Mark too, I would imagine. Yeah, and then I guess there's I guess just one of the wall weapons around kitchen area. Yep. Um, and Should I try to I get guess... one of those packed? Like I can't get elephant ammo, but yeah. like I might as well try to do them packed. Yeah. Yeah, because that's just good for camping mm -hmm. for like more more many damage. rounds. Yeah. Um. I don't know whether I should rock out a dead wire or blast furnace. That's a good question. Cause... I feel like dead wire will be more. Yeah. It goes faster. I mean, you could even try to get like one on each gun or something if you run mule kick. Oh yeah, I could do. Yeah. Or even turned. I don't know. Turned could be pretty helpful. I feel like turned could get a bit messy in there. It could. That's very true. But it's a it's a very tight room, so mm -hmm. I feel like you'd need something very like quick. Yeah. And like right, between. Seven power, isn't it? Uh, I think we're good to end the round if you are. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Alright, cool. Should be one more zombie somewhere. D is wow, kind STG. of easy for high rounds. It depends. Yeah. Depends on if the Panzer wants to be nice. Whenever I play D, I'm just like, okay, this this is, this is quite easy. And suddenly I like... I'm suddenly getting hit too many times in, yep. from in front, like camping uh, bell tower. That's just like, that's the lightning bow for you. Yeah, it really is just the best. Doesn't want to target like some zombies that are like right next to you, and you're like, mm -hmm. what? <laughs> it used to be. I guess so it's in the walk in that good. sense. When, when that map dropped, oh my god, dude, that thing was insane. Yeah, like, it was ridiculous how good that weapon was. Rip the dream. <laughs> I know. It sucks how so many maps just got like a lot worse. Yeah. Since they came out. And like looking at them now, it's like, man. They were, it used to be so good for high rounds. Yeah. Like Shadows is like, I'd still say it's one of my favorite maps, but it's just like, it's so just. Shadows dumb is so now. bad for high rounds now with the um, Widow's Wine thing being patched. Yeah. Especially well, that was such training. a good. I didn't even think it was an exploit, to be fair. It wasn't. That's the thing. 
Like, I never, I never realized they all thought it was. it was just a way to get more widows wand grenades. Like, yeah, I don't, I didn't really see it as an exploit at all. Uh, where's yeah, gaming? What's going on? And Jamie, how you doing? Welcome to the stream, guys. I thought it was more like, I mean, I thought they would keep it just because it's like, oh yeah, it's been in the game it's for such a over minor a year. thing too. Yeah, and, and it, it seemed it like, seemed like yeah, a sort like, like said, skill it's, thing to it's do. It's been in it's been in the game for so long that like it's it's something that you can't like it just feels stupid to patch it now. It's like yeah. oh you left it in your game for literally over a year and now you're patching it. Like, yeah. What's the what's the point of that? Your your yeah. the game cycle's over. Why are you like making your game worse? I don't know. Yeah, but that's that's track for you. Yeah, that's track for you. I mean, yes, they're doing everything in that with their best intentions and like just stuff like that. It's just a bit like, uh, was there really any point? Mm -hmm. Like, there was a few. There's a few uh, things that like I don't know whether I'm happy about them patching. Like, I know on Moon on Chronic uh, from Chronicles, obviously, they patched uh, the Widow's Wine, basically giving you unlimited max ammo. Yes. Yep. Like that's uh, that's patched. understandable. Yeah, and I'm like, I really I... wish I could, I really wish that, like, I could get that to work, like, properly, because mm -hmm. I couldn't get, like, a rhythm with it, but... It's just, I feel like that's, but, like, even still, that's something that's really hard to do, because those power-ups go away fast. Yeah. Like, what does one ones don't last long at all? Yeah, some of them last, like, forever, and then some just, like, disappear and you're just like, well, well, that's helpful. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just, I think some of the death machine glitches still exist, yeah, you're... I think you're right there, Gaster. Some of those like unlimited death machine ones. Locus, power I don't boost. want that. Wait, what was it? What's that? What's that gobblegum? Is power boost, right? Uh yes, I think so. Yeah. That gobblegum's so stupid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have so many problems with that. I think uh Lex, he uh he posted a video. Power vacuum, um, that's what it is. A power vacuum, yes. yeah. I was um, yeah, for some reason the name just completely it's, lost it's, me. It's so overpowered. Yeah, and then it was like, it was like, oh yeah, uh, Moon on fifth, uh, Moon fifty, easy. And it was just a video of him just getting constant death machines, just doing his first room challenge. And it's like, wow, great gobble gum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did they really check? It's this so OP, gum, like, dude. They... It's like every four zombies, and like, there's people that now are like, oh, they don't need to patch it. What's wrong with it being OP? It's like. It literally mm. it is it ruins leaderboards. Yeah. There's a reason. I mean that why. coupled with Brand Robbins. Mm -hmm. oh, it's the worst. Like it's it's ridiculous that they do that. Like uh, did like did no one think that that was gonna like just makes you wonder if they tested it. Yeah. There's a few things like that, but it's just because it's just like you would think that like a developer using that wouldn't have sat there and been like, wow, I'm getting like 80 drops around. This seems a little op. Yeah. I feel like they all test of them things. being death machines. I feel like they test things for low rounds and not high rounds. Yeah, for sure. And then it's like, oh, how tempting to get this monkey bug got crate power. The dubstep monkeys can be pretty good at high uh, rounds. I think I'm gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, they Let's can be it. pretty nice. Not gonna lie, they kill pretty yeah. quickly. Unlike regular monkeys. Shit, I thought there was a gap. There was a gap so there until. That's what I thought it... too. <laughs> Plenty enough room to get through there. What's going on, Eternity? How you doing today? Yeah, they right definitely out. need to nerf the Panzers on Origins. Holy Jesus, dude. Yeah. It's insane. Like, I've never really used the uh, oh, G-Strike against two. them. Oh, Mark Oh, damn. I can't take that, though. I yeah. got the WAF. I mean, to be fair, I kind of like how uh, the pans is like a bit more of a challenge, but it's just like I there's do so like many it, and they bug like, out a lot. Okay, if you want to make it a challenge, make it like one panzer with really overpowered health. Like yeah. the way DE handled it. I liked that. You get one panzer, it's got a lot of health, it's kind of hard to kill, but it's like just three of them is a little bit OP. Yeah, and because of the fact that there's three of them, it bugs them out half the time as yep. well. Yep, that too. It panzer, let's get onto the map. Having three. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's some like pretty simple strats to like deal with them, but it's yes, just they like are. it's just frustrating. It's like, if you know what yeah. you're doing, it's easy, but they can just be kind then, of difficult to deal with. Yeah, it's like well, I don't really have to want to have to go out my way and run around the entire map just to deal with them all. 
well, obviously yeah, so not that's the entire right, map. Like, but... no and, and it's not even that. It's like on DE, it was fine because it was like, oh, yeah, they spawn every five to six rounds. It's like these are every three rounds you get a Panzer. Yeah, guaranteed. Yep. And you get all three of them at every time, and it's just. Yeah. It's a bit ridiculous. I mean, I guess they had to change something because the original Panzer was just. Panzer round was really easy. Mm hmm. Especially with staffs. Yeah, it just, sucks it just the ice staff took just you by isn't, surprise isn't sometimes. Against them, if the yeah. ice staff was good against the Panzers, it'd be great. But it's like yeah. the only one that's good is the fire staff. Yeah, I mean it kind of makes sense, but yeah. yeah. And this box is not being nice. No, gobble gun machine's not being nice right now either. <laughs> yeah. Still running around with the RK5 right now. <laughs> Jesus, man. Just constantly running out of ammo on my CUDA, so I have to keep running out all the way back to power. Mm -hmm. Oh, the struggles. Yeah, having to having to keep certain doors closed can make things just take really long to get around. Yeah, I've noticed that with a couple maps. Like, oh my god, trying to do trying to set up five and five on shadows. Oh my god, that's it can just be the worst thing ever sometimes. Yeah. You have to get the train. You have to move around the map. You have to get everything. Oh, it's just, yep. just annoying. It's, it's, it's just so much more simpler. Because it's just like, when you're you so got... tempted. You're like, literally, if I just open this door, it's going to save me like 20 minutes of work. Yeah. If I don't, then it's going to save me late, late game. Yep. What gun do I want? I want either the HVK, ICR, or Vesper. Anything that's new. I would, since I'm not getting an alternate ammo type, I'd prefer one of the mich one of the assault rifles. Yeah, I just got the ray gun, not the Mark II. Oh, at least I you forgot. I didn't even realize it was in this map. Yeah. Like that's nice. Like back in Black Ops 2, how you had to trade it out. Yeah. That was frustrating. Was um. Oh. Did they actually? Add, did they add the Mark II into the Black Ops Three maps or? No, it's only the Chronicles ones. Okay. Oh, got a new uh, subscriber. Ooh. The zombie guy, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. It's lit. I need to find Dumb lit. Yeah, Seth. I Shadows was just. It was a map they should not have included on the base game. Yeah. Oh my god. For, Imagine for that's your first players map playing coming it. into Black Ops Three, man. That's that extreme. Just, like, I, I even I struggled to like understand it when I started. Like I picked it up pretty yeah. quickly, but like first couple games, it was like, all right, well, there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah. That that map was so confusing to try and be efficient with as well. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, you got to uh, just use the beast mode to open up everywhere. Yep, in like one you... go. It, yeah. It, even then to this you... day, like trying to do everything in one go is really hard for some places. Yeah. And then you got to do the rituals, and you got to open up. Well, that's about opening up pack a punch. Yep. But then you got to. It's just too much setup, is the problem. Yeah. Then you got to get a sword. You got to ride the train. You got to upgrade the sword. Upgrade the sword. You to... Then you got to get the popkin servant, which you know Xenomatter could take until who knows when. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's. Um, you can. You could do part of the one, the one step. Yeah. To get there. You could do the flag uh, step. Flag step yeah. Yeah. Cause you should be able to get to flag step before like um wait was it 13 yeah yeah you just usually around there i'm pretty sure it the xenomatter doesn't even spawn before round 12 from what i've heard yeah because i've done flag step before then and like i just sit there killing endless waves of <laughs> yeah. the meatballs and they don't spawn it at all yeah, at one point I think I was sat there for like a good twenty minutes. I'm just like, mm -hmm. I'm not doing something right, so I yep. had to go and into then the wiki. I go the next round to like thirteen, and it's like, oh, here it yeah. is, the first one I, you kill. I, I went onto the wiki because I did. I was just sort of like, I'm not gonna end the round. I'm just gonna check up, and I was like, I'm being really thick, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> and then I see it. I'm just, just like, like, there's oh, something no. I'm not doing right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, oh, yeah, Matthew. I've... I hope she gets better, but uh, I'm glad you enjoy. Oh. What's going on, Juice Box? How you doing, man? Mark two and DE man, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, beautiful. Jesus, you could just de decimate the Panzer. Really, Panzer Gorgon and DE is not too bad. 
No, it's alright, game. It's I'm not like I wanted animal. a weapon. Maybe I should just drink <laughs> Piss on someone. I don't even know what my third... What is my third weapon? Is it the... Yeah, the bootlegger must be my second. I think. I don't know. Yeah. This is a problem. I know the WAF's my first, because I traded that off for the MR6. Yeah. MP4. My, uh, I like the MP4. My HVK is my first at the moment, so... Yeah. And I don't know. Should I put? I bought the Shiva should... after the ICR, which I bought yeah. the ICR. Did I buy? No, I bought. Like I think I got that out of the box. Yeah, the bot. This Shiva would have been my third weapon. So the bootleggers. Hey, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I think I should put Mark II as my third because later rounds, if I go down, it's it doesn't do anything like really late on anyway. Mm -hmm. So I reckon it's probably a safe option to once you kind of drop get past it. fifty, it's kind of just like. Yeah. Unless you're uh, doing those high range strats in town. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Throwback to town. I've heard people say that Best they made the, uh, the Mark II better on Black Ops 3. Yeah. Like it has more damage. It, I, I felt it, like so. it was less powerful. Yeah. Personally. Could like, be. It's very well possible. You know, you never I mean, know with Treyarch. Yeah, like, it's really difficult to tell, because obviously it's, like, horde-ups mm -hmm. are different on this game, and they don't line up as nicely. Yep. Zombies are but, sporadic. Yeah, it's... Because I, I seem to remember, when I whenever I just did, like, a town high round game or whatever, it was it was quite nice, just, like, running into the bar, and you're just like, okay, let's... Oh, yeah, dude. Let's just kill a full horde in, like, one burst. Back. But now I don't think it does that. Throwback to the freaking days when we didn't have one-shot kill wonder weapons. No, yeah. Half our maps. Oh. God, Throw back to the days such of the a letdown. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Right. We're just holding a zombie and just talking right now. It's Pretty much. Around. I'm just trying to get this. I'm trying to just get one of the three weapons that I need. The box just keeps Are giving you... me the Gorgon. Have you got a uh, cry power right now? Yes, I do. Nice. Yeah. I've got like no points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting on you. Oh, here it is. I forgot yeah. this was a spot right here. It seems really dumb because it's right next to the other one. Mm -hmm. it and then there's no the there's no box location from the kitchen all the way down until the mule yep. kick room. Some of them are just like right next to each other, and then some of them are just like super far away from each other. Yeah. Some maps where the ray gun was the wonder weapon. Oh god. Those days. They they tried doing that so much in Black Ops 2. Okay, I got the Vesper. Do you remember back on the? World at War, where the Reagan used to like one hit down you. Yes. Oh. Literally, it was like it was in knocked specifically for some reason. Like splash damage was so high on knocked. Yeah. Knocked was such a weird map compared to the other ones. Like in just yeah. terms of like little things, like not even like huge things, just like zombie movement was so slow, and like yeah. like you look at how the game functions in knocked compared to Varok, and you think it's running on two separate engines. Yeah. To be honest, it game. probably is. I would imagine that it probably is, because like yeah. Nox started as just like a little like small thing, and then they were like took it seriously for Varok. Yeah, I actually got a team behind that. Like I find it weird how like on Nox they were like they put a timer on the the drops, and then oh, it yeah. was just like never seen again in any other map. To be fair, that was kind of a nice feature. It was <laughs> knowing how much longer you had on your insta kill or your double points or yeah. I think the only problem with the timer is that it was like one second out of what it actually said. Yep. yep. <laughs> or something like that. Lagged a little bit. What's going on, Fear Reaper? How you doing today? And like, there was something. Oh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, something with nukes. I oh, they would still that. hit you after you. Got yeah, zombies could yeah. still hit you after nukes went off. That's what it yeah. was. That I was forgot about that once when I was my playing World War. Favorite so. thing of War to War. <laughs> yeah. I think the, the most amount of time I put into World Wars just because I was like playing custom zombies all the time. World of War is a solid game, I will say that. For as buggy yeah. as it is, it's a lot of fun to go back and play. Yeah. Like, it's one of those ones that I just love hopping on, playing the maps, getting the guns, killing zombies, whatever. No matter yeah. how buggy and terrible the, the game runs. It's not in the Blundellverse, you don't have to set up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just go and grab a gun and kill. Yeah. Super easy. Sometimes that's nice to just go back and do that again. Yeah. Right. J just one thing that I've noticed with Chronicles, and this is going now to Kino. Yes. Nova Crawlers. Oh what is God. that about? 
They are so such annoying. a pain now. So annoying, dude. Like the explosion damage does like like two hits and of normal a lot damage. Of it also, I think a lot of my issues stem from like Black Ops Three spawning and how fast they spawn in, and like oh, yeah. despawn as well. Like literally, you can't you can't run through the lab and moon on a low round or on a high round because it's oh, yeah, just you like can't, that's all. you just you just Nova crawl phasing crawlers and like zombies everywhere. Yeah, going up those stairs sure. into like the top floor of the lab, you will always get trapped on those stairs on a high round. Yeah. Because it's just, they I mean, despawn. I'm pretty so sure quickly. that um, they put more crawlers in to spawn in mm -hmm. now as well. It's like, it's well, so you shouldn't have done that. It's like, it doesn't work with the engine of stairs in the original moon, but now it's like, with how quickly they despawn and respawn. Yeah. Right, do I need to save a zombie? Um, I mean, I've got the Vesper, I've got the Wonderwaff, and I've got the Shiva, but I'll try, try to straight this out for something else. Okay, that's cool. But other than that, I'm pretty yeah. sure we're good. What's going on? Uh, no, welcome to the stream. And uh, RH, what's going on, dude? How you doing, man? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny, RH. I'll probably just buy, like, the KN or something. I don't know. Yeah, KN would be good for points. I don't really yes, need anything but... for this last weapon. Yeah. If I could get rid of it, I would, but, you know. Yeah. So I think we're good, though, unless you have anything you need to do. Yeah, I don't have crate power yet, so... Gotcha. I'm gonna hit the Gawago machine and try to get, like, alchemical. Oh, yeah. And I get it for okay, really nice. Call for the Wolf is lovely. Definitely need it like high rounds. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Dude, our chemical with the Wolf though is like godly. Yeah. I love it. He gets just so much ammo with it. How's it going, what, what's uh, Aaron? The... Welcome to the stream. What's the Wolf in its current state at the moment? Because I, I remember they keep buffing nerf against throughout the whole I... back of the street, but I don't God, know what I don't even final know at point, this point was. It seems like it's better now than it was on launch. It was really bad on launch. Yeah. And then they I seem to remember they buffed it, and then they reverted those changes again. Yep. And then I was like, well, what's even the point in even having the gun in the game at this point? Yeah, exactly, when it's such trash. Like, it's just a lot of it came from alternate ammo types hurting Wonder Weapons. Yeah, because like they really did. Like some of them, some of the wonder weapons, like Pothkin Servant and like the bows and stuff, they're not really too harshly affected by alternate ammo types. But it's like when you got dead <laughs> wire, it's so powerful. <laughs> when you got dead wire, and it's just like that's it's literally just a smaller version of the wonder Wolf that I can put on any weapon. Like yeah, that's why they need to keep so... the wonder Wolf powerful. I think the only good thing about the Wolf is that it can potentially save you in a corner but then it also doesn't chain onto the one like zombies guaranteed yep. like half the time yep it just it like only, it kind of just picks and chooses really yeah all right let's hit gobble gum machine again jonathan how you doing today oh i just spent 2500 and that's fine i guess it's I feel like that's a very anyway. specific number there sid but i hope it stays permanent the free gobble gum hit yeah I think they said it was, but um, I would yeah. imagine they would. I don't. I don't see a reason for them to change it. It's just like little things like that. Like it's like your game cycle is over at this point. Why? Why bother yeah. fix patching things? Like patch things that are glitches and issues and whatnot. But like small things that are like don't really need to be fixed. Like why bother? Yeah. Sorry, back to um when the gobble gum machine used to be only in like one or two locations or oh something. Oh my god, dude, I remember that. It was only at one spot each time. Yeah. They made so many changes to things, like just thinking about it, like how different the game was on launch. <laughs> Two Divinium around. Oh, yeah. Uh, about yep. a game. Yeah, there's just... that limit. You can only... Oh, dude, that was awful. Yeah. There's a few things that just like, why didn't they think of patching this like before launch? Mm-hmm. Like it just seems like such a si like a simple easy thing. To oh, it does. It's, it it's probably like something quite easy to overlook there as well. Yep. It does. Uh, I, I feel like a lot of this stuff was very much overlooking. And like Jason talked a lot about stuff like how they didn't have a lot of time for certain things, and they were really pressed for things, and it's just it made made things very difficult. Um, yeah. Got a lot of insight from those interviews that he did with a lot of the YouTubers. Oh, yeah. And like the development process and how they had to like overhaul their engine completely for Zetsubo because of the things that they wanted to do oh, yeah. on the map. Yeah, it actually it justifies the fact that it was buggy as hell. Mm -hmm. Like it's understandable as to why. Like they tried to yeah. do so many new things with it, and like I appreciate that, and like that's cool and all, but it's just yeah. did not, sadly, did not make for a good map. 
and he talked about that how like all those big changes that they made for things it's like yeah. you can get maps like Zetsubo that are really bad or you can get maps like shadows which are pretty well received in the community Get some to be honest, I love Zetsubo. A lot it's like of one of my do. favorite maps. It's, a lot of people really like Zetsubo. Like, but it's just one of those maps that I find that you can't play it a lot. Also, we are getting Jug raided right now. So that's a thing. I just look over nice. in my chat and I just see Jug Raid being spammed in my chat. So what's going <laughs> on, guys? Welcome to the stream. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> that's a lot of people, <laughs> holy hell. Welcome to Jug Raid. Welcome, everybody. How's it going, guys? We're doing... You guys are uh, new to this channel. My name is Jedi or Peter. You can call me whichever. I do zombies. I am a zombies YouTuber. And right now we're doing uh, high rounds with my friend Gaffro. His link is in the description if you guys want to check him out. He's streaming as I well right it. now. Um, Hello. And uh, it's uh, we're we're having a good time playing some high rounds on Vruct. or attempting yeah. to do some high rounds on Vruct. Attempting to. Yeah. Attempting to. I don't have bullet boost, so it's gonna make this difficult. But thank you so much for the raid, Jug. I really do appreciate that, my man. That is freaking awesome. How's it going, everybody? Thanks to everybody that came from the Jug Raid and everybody that subbed. KIA Clan, Whitney, Marbury, and Super Squeaker. Thank you guys for the subs. Really appreciate it. You guys are freaking awesome. Welcome to the stream. Greener Games, Serials, Jug, Troll Pig, uh, Isaiah Tate, The Merc, Jug Squad, Dats, Nom, Pluto, Gaming, Lee, Callard, Isaiah Tate, uh, Red Electric. Welcome to the stream, guys. Oh, I got a fire Oh my god, that's a lot of people. That is a hey, lot yes. of people, dude. <laughs> I'm just trying to like read oh. off names in between killing zombies here. I thought you were dying. Yeah. Uh, Andreas, thanks for subbing. How's it going, COD Zombies? Welcome. And yeah. RIP Zaps, welcome to the stream. I got Take into a sticky situation. Get party started. Yes, RH, <laughs> RH has the right idea. He knows what's up. Felix Snydar, thanks for subbing, dude. I appreciate that. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. It's crazy. XXX Gamer, Gav Parker, Nematode, uh, Delay, Stay, Gav, Rollers, um, Austin Emerson. Welcome to the stream, guys. Isaiah Tate, thanks for that sub, dude. Oh, I got a max. Nice. I'll take that. Sub came from Peter's stream. Drop a sub and like. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for that. Jonathan Rodriguez. Uh, Hamza, Tobe Dog, Delay, Corrupted, thanks for subbing, guys. And Jug Squad as well, thank you for that sub. That was a uh, solid raid there, Jug. I really appreciate that, dude, once again. Thank you so much. That was, an, that was an intense raid. That was. I saw you streaming. You were doing Moon, right? Solo. Did that uh, Did that go well? I hope you beat Solo Easter Egg. I love the fact that you can do the Moon Easter Egg on Solo now. It makes me so happy. Yeah. Like, I never, I, I never did Moon Easter Egg. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of box luck to it, but like with how many emulations you can get now, or with I guess yeah. how many emulations you probably have now, it's just like, it's it's so easy. Yeah. If I don't get Wave Gun and 50 emulations, well, I, I think there's <laughs> something wrong with the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. It's it's crazy. You need a lot of stuff for it, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Wait, it just had a thought. Crate power, does that work in like Gersh device and like Matryoshka dolls? I think people have tried it on Gersh devices and it didn't do anything as far as I know. Oh, okay. Because I think someone had that exact same idea and I remember seeing a post about that. Beat it in an hour, yeah. that was so quick. Dad, that's awesome, dude. That's freaking awesome. That's crazy fast, dude. Oh. Killing it, Jug. Uh, super speed, thank you for subbing, dude. I appreciate it. This map really is awesome, Isaiah, I will say. Got Wave Gun second box. Man, that is yeah. some serious luck. I mean, Shadow Kai's really prank. Thank you for subscribing. Because I got WA first try in this game, so like, yeah, or second try, I guess. So, yeah. yeah, with that Waff good luck. luck. Uh, did you see? Uh, you know that um, frenzy uh, waffles and all that. Yes, they were doing, doing... Shang. What yeah, was it, and they got minutes, they beat Shang. Oh my! I watched that. And I was That's just like, insane. well, because I saw they had said seventeen was the fastest, and then they were like, yeah, we're going for another game, and they got fourteen. It was like fourteen fifty something. Yeah. Like, that's they, so they got, fast. They just, messed up a step as well. Just thinking about how much, how much, like, you have to do in Shang, and they do it in 14 minutes. Yeah. Every new tactical they got, non pack punched over, then the monkeys gotcha, gotcha, Gooner. That's they interesting the that they yeah. carried the monkey pack a punch over yeah. to these maps. Hey, that was interesting. I don't know. Because, like, Gorda makes sense because that... there's a legitimate way to do it in the map other than using crate power. But, like,. It's there isn't. They decided ones. to do it for these maps, but hey, yeah. I'll take I guess it. it makes sense because wall power works in these maps. Yep. <laughs> so. I mean, dubstep monkeys are really, really good. Yeah. Buddha, thanks for subbing, dude. I appreciate that, man. And uh, you got tunnel six on round five. That's crazy. I saw someone on the Reddit got tunnel six 
to excavate on round one. Oh my, what? Because, like, when you turn power on, you get, like, there's a chance that you can get an excavator to go. And, like, I guess they got power all the way on on round one. And yeah. it, it dug it. Like, that is that is the setup for an Easter egg you need right there. That's insane. That is, like, that's crazy. Reese Baisley, or Beasley, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Uh, do I pay to get the sub thing? No, I do not, Super Squeaker. I just use Streamlabs. It is a free service to use that you can have all of your alerts pop up on your screen. Free for everybody. Anybody that has a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel, whichever service you stream to. It's a great website for that kind of stuff. Jake Samuel, thanks for subbing, dude. I appreciate that, man. I only set up the Streamlabs thing the other day and I was just like, this is actually amazing. Why haven't I done this before? <laughs> it's really nice, dude. Streamlabs is great. Yeah. There's so many, like, and like, with using it like basically and just like right out of the bat is great but like when you start editing stuff and doing like custom things and it it gets so yeah. much better there's so much you can do with it you can spend like an entire day editing all kinds of yeah. stuff together for it you got like the custom gifts and stuff as yep. well and I they look awesome a lot of stuff so. with it yeah but it's really nice yeah yo whitney oh. coming in from that that jug raid thank you so much for that i appreciate that all right, have a good one, Jug. Thanks so much for the raids. See you, my man. Yeah. Thanks for stopping. I said he got lost, but still hand the box. Still need something. <laughs> still need something. Do you not even have like yeah. an ICR or anything yet? I I got the HVK, yeah, but the HVK. I haven't got like Mark II. I haven't got yeah. um, ICR. I think I'm gonna have ICR as my second. That's probably a good idea. I'm not sure. I've, yeah, I've only we only got the uh, Mark II once so far. Yeah. So I haven't seen it since. It was just giving me a, a giant like pile of garbage weapons left and right. It gave me the Gorgon yeah. like three times. Everyone loves the Gorgon. Best gun. Oh yeah, dude. There's only Who one place where it? the Gorgon's ever used for me, and it's on the catwalk. It's in the trash. <laughs> yes, in the trash where it belongs. <laughs> no, when you go yeah. for headshots, that thing can be really nice. Yeah. Like if you're doing catwalk on giant man, you get you slap dead shot on that thing, and it's just like free yeah. headshots for days. You don't even have to pay attention at all. I remember uh, using it like a multiplayer, and it was really easy as well. Oh, it's so good on multiplayer. It's like yeah. I think the dingo is probably the most overpowered thing on multiplayer, in my opinion. That gun just. Shreds. No, so I'd say that on zombies as well. On zombies too. It's such a god tier weapon. That thing yeah. shreds through people. I've done so well. Like, I'm a pretty trash multiplayer person, but I can do decently well with the dingo. Yeah. I uh, I spend uh, pretty much the majority of my time playing multiplayer. Yeah. I mean, I, I did a lot of zombies, but then I did, like, a lot, a lot of multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Like, I wish um, I was good at multiplayer, because it just seems like it's, it can be a lot of fun if you're good at it. Yeah. But, like, I'm just, I'm just pretty trash at it. <laughs> yeah. It took so long to do, uh, try and get dark matter. It was actually unreal. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. I've 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 gotten a decent bit of guns gold. It sucks because I originally bought Black Ops Three for the Xbox and didn't get the PS4 version until Horizon Drop came out. And like oh, all yeah. my friends play on Xbox, so like we play multiplayer a yeah. lot. So I have a decent set of guns gold on Xbox, but then it's like I got it for PS4 and now it's like I have nothing, like gold or anything yeah. on. Like I was, I think I'm over halfway to dark matter on Xbox. Yeah, and right. I could go down here so easy because I don't have wood as wine. So I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna I mean, make I'm my way back. The kitchen, just, uh, just chilling. So I mean, if you wanna come here, you're welcome to. But yeah, <laughs> if you think you're fine over there, then uh... yeah, I'm coming back. <laughs> do I play with sub? Trying I to get like... sub games in the future. Mm. I think that would be fun sometimes. I remember doing a, uh, uh, just like a game with like followers uh, back on Twitch, like. Mm -hmm. It was, a, it was an Origins game, but I went back onto PS3 for it. Yeah. And because you can I, you can either stream without sound or you can play without sound. Yep. So I, I decided, like, okay, I, I'm just going to play without sound. It's better to have the stream, like, listen to the game audio and all that. Yep. The amount of times I got jump scared by panzers just landing imagine, on top dude. of me. Oh, it's terrifying. There's some maps you just can't play without sound. Moon is one of the biggest maps you can't play without sound. Oh, yeah, freaking you can excavators. Yeah. Some, some people have suggested like man they should do like subtitles for the excavators that would be pretty great yeah. like they did with the um the void bow step yeah they, i think that would be a genius they, idea i don't know why they haven't done that because it's because it's, it's something so easy for them to do yeah i see because no i know why they shouldn't 
Like, I, I, th I would have thought they would have done it with the Void Bow on launch as well. Yep. But they didn't. It's just weird. Like, you would think in. they would have thought about something like that. Like, yeah. oh, there might be people that play our game that, you know, can't hear or whatever. And it's like, yeah. it's such a simple thing. But I guess, I guess when you're developing a game, stuff like that doesn't always come to mind. Yeah, they might not have time to do it, like, straight away anyway. And so, so it's like once they hear kind of an outcry from the community, then they're like, okay, yeah. We should yeah, this is important. <laughs> Hey, that's a shame. I oh, you got it. <laughs> grab that because you need the points, but that's fine. I'm out of juice. I'll grab my Widow's Wine Drop too, and my other one as well. There's one. There's a Widow's Wine Drop that spawned behind the barrier. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I they do that. Do that. I'm really glad, man. Thank you so much. That means a lot, dude. And Clarky Boy, thanks for subbing, dude. And welcome to the stream, Eli and uh, R Tom. Welcome. Can you right. see the widow's wine drops when they drop? Uh, I think it's uh, different for each person. It's all okay, so it's only player specific. I was yeah. wondering. And about also, that. I think it's the person who kills the zombie as well. That, yes. Because um, I saw you run through chance. one and didn't pick it up, and I was like, okay, so they can't pick it up. So I'm wondering if they can even see it. Yeah, I believe it's uh, just depends on who it is who killed it and all that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jamie, on War to War, you know, uh, my highest was 31.57. That's a lot of hours. Yeah, that was, gosh, how many was that? That was over 30 hours, I know that. Yeah. Because it's about 10 hours for a thousand rounds. Yeah. Give I think take. I hopped into that stream, like, I think I hopped into the game after, and I was just like, wait, this isn't Shino. Yeah, it's... <laughs> What's happening there? It's, well, it's, it's... It's a fun, it's a fun thing to do sometimes, but like it is tiring. Like if yeah. I was to ever go for the record again, I wouldn't. I mean, first of all, I would be doing it on PC. That's the first thing, because like yeah, leaving your console on for like six days at a time is just not the best. But uh, yeah. you know, and then at that, I mean, not to say that leaving your PC on is better, but like PC has more power, I guess. So it's like, it's can you put your PC into rest mode as well? Yes, I can do that. Or yeah. like the equivalent. Um, but like. I would, I would probably do it off stream. That's the last I, thing. Where I could just like chill and listen to music or something like that and just not have to worry oh, yeah. about really like being entertaining, I guess. Because it's hard to do that for like 10 hours at a time. I can oh, yeah. people that do that kind of stuff. It's crazy. People that yeah. stream on the daily for like eight, nine hours a day. It's like, <laughs> it's, I don't know how some people do that. Yeah. Because it's insane. I, I used to do long streams and try and like, be really interactive and stuff but it just fun, but you after, so like, much you hit the four or five hour mark it's just like you kind of want to stop interacting i guess it's yeah. easier for people that have like huge audiences because you can just keep talking to your chat over and over again but when you're trying to build yeah. an audience it's great for doing that because you stream a lot you you will eventually see results but like those yeah. first couple streams are really rough it's just like oh let's stream for a long time and let's try and be uh, self-entertaining uh, it's like what do i talk like about you want, you want to do the whole thing where it's like okay well if, if i like it's like so let's just do it like with me and a friend or something streaming and then it's like then you start you know you it's that's great because you've got someone to keep you company there but then it's like you're talking to your friend often and it's like people come in yeah you're not interacting with chat and some people are like some people are like oh well you know if they've got another person there i probably won't get to talk to them as much so they avoid chatting or whatever and it's just like there's little things like that where it's just kind of frustrating to deal with and, and starting yeah. out is is kind of rough for streaming you can grab the death machine yeah there's but a once, there's a cool little spot results, in this room. It gets a lot, wet, a lot more fun. There's a cool spot in this room where you just stand here and you shoot at the wall and it gets both windows. Yes, I've seen that. Where you can it's shoot, like, so right good because it shoots through the wall, or whatever. This is a beautiful Thanks spot. Thanks for coming from the jug raid, Zeith, Chest bra, welcome. And uh, one shot, just welcome to see you streaming today. Is today is a very good day. This is a very good. Day. It's yeah. nice and sunny back in the UK here. It's a good. Yeah, it's hey, it's pretty there. nice out today. Actually, not gonna lie. It was so really nice weather, yesterday. It would be good to be out in, but... <laughs> yeah. But you know, zombies is important. What's going on, Kempsey? How you doing? Welcome yeah, to the stream. Is. And Zoltrex, thanks for coming from the Jug Raid. We would like to try to get 50 as our goal delay. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I think we could definitely do it. Once I get more bullet boosts, I would love to do this again. Yeah. As soon as I see something in the cookbook for bullet boosts, I'm going to start, like, going in yeah. on that. I mean, I thought it was rather convenient today how the cookbook was giving out uh, cash, uh, not cash back, what am I saying, crate power. Yes. And I was just like, oh, this is literally exactly what I need. Or I'm going to get the max and hitbox. Sweet. 
one. Hopefully, Should I get something. Blackout. Thanks for stopping, dude. I appreciate that, man. And how's it going, Blaz? Welcome to the stream. And Jackson, welcome. And thanks for the stuff. about zombies. setting up for this map is just box luck. Yes. Oh. So look, because you need same basically with... like three specific yeah. guns. One of three specific guns. Yeah. I mean, I guess you experienced that yesterday with Sheena Numa. Yes. Not getting the WAF for like ever. Yep. The whole game I went without the WAF, it sucked. Yeah. Sometimes you get it really quick and sometimes it just takes forever. Do you have a zombies on you? I'm assuming you do. because you're. I've got quite a few. Yeah. I would imagine that you probably do. Right, I'm hoping to try and... Why is there so many down? They're still spawning in down there. And there's a corridor I could go down so easily here. Right, <laughs> I'm good. You good? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and save at least one. I got a couple. I think they're all so gonna be spawning in now. Kill all yours. Yeah. I've got a good bit over here. Right, I've got two. I've got like three okay. now. I say two, and every time I kill one, another one shows another up. One so I've just in, permanently yes. got two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've got a bit more than two San now. San Diego's so like... weird. It's foggy and raining a bit here. Ooh, foggy and rain can be kind of nice. I don't know. Some Sounds days, like some days I enjoy rainy days, some days I like to have the sun out. Yeah. It just kind of depends on the day, really. Any sub goals? I mean, I don't really have any specific sub goals, but just keep growing the channel as much as we can. Yeah. That's kind of my whole thing. It's been so much more fun doing YouTube since um, Chronicles. It is, it is, because the community is more alive. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure anything would be more alive than <laughs> Zombies Community since Revelations. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was pretty dead for a long time. And that's yeah. a lot of the reason why I stopped doing stuff with Zombies, because it was just, there was nothing. Yeah. Was... Like, I still enjoyed playing it, but it's just like, well, streaming it and making videos, it's not worth it, so. Yep. Unless you got, like, a huge fan base, then obviously it's like... Oh, yeah, then it's like, then it's like, fine, but like... Yeah. It's a hard part for, like streamers starting out yeah that makes things very difficult i mean i guess if there's not as many people doing it then it should be quite easy to get mm -hmm. going but then it's a, if there's not many people doing it, then it's not many there's people, not a lot of watching. people watching it's the kind of like it's a situation how it also is on twitch where it's like okay well there's not a lot of people streaming zombies on twitch so like i don't have to worry about streaming at the same time as someone else and like them taking viewers from me or you know an audience yeah. but like there's also not a lot of people that watch zombies on twitch is the other problem <laughs> yeah so it's like you just gotta. It's it's all about finding where you fit, really. Yeah. And you can I mean, only do I... that by streaming constantly. Try different times out. Try what, see yeah. what works. Try different streams, different maps, whatever it is. See yeah, what works. Yeah, I seem. I seem to remember like the Twitch side of zombies was kind of toxic, like towards the end of it. Mm -hmm. Like it was a lot of really very toxic much so. players that just got oh, really, yeah, I, I got really in... cocky and were just like. Yeah. Really, really rude towards people that tried like yeah. new people that tried to go for high rounds and stuff and yeah i, just I got i, I almost got caught up in that mm -hmm. and i was like okay i'm gonna go for a high round in town didn't know the strat at all i didn't know there really yep. was one because this is like when i was first like probably getting into it all. oh yeah and uh i think a specialist came into my stream and was just like what are you doing you're just running around with like an execution and stuff and it's like i don't know what i'm doing yeah exactly. and then he it, i think it took him like i don't know like 20 minutes to teach me mm -hmm. and then i was just like Oh, this is this is quite fun. Yep. <laughs> Actually, having a strat to do. It's a lot and of then, fun when you know what you're doing. Yeah, I I avoided the whole like toxic side because of that. Mm -hmm. And he he hopped in every so often, and he That's taught me a nice, bit dude. of like ascension and all that. So That's I don't think he really did that to anyone else. So yeah. I I think I just got lucky with that. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. He's obviously having a good day. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I would imagine yeah. at that point. What's going on, Kenneth? How you doing today? Did you ever take part in any of the zombie gauntlets? I did not, but I did see them when they were on. I was contemplating yeah. doing it. I know a lot of people. I knew some people that did the uh, the the giant one. Wait, there was one on the giant. <laughs> yes, there was. I, did, I, I stopped really paying attention after yeah, someone they did, they, did. they had one for the giant where it was like just it was just trying to get as high around as possible or whatever. Yeah. That was wait, wait, was it was it the giant or the Rees? Because I remember there was a Rees one. I think it was the giant because it, it was very recently. Yeah. It was like the oh, okay. last one that they did. 
Oh, okay, I, I wasn't really mm -hmm. following it. It was, it, gosh, when was that? That was back when I was streaming pretty consistently. That was yeah. probably last November, maybe even earlier than that. It might have been even yeah. before Revelations came out, to be honest. Yeah, because I, I remember there was... That, that participated in that, and I was like, I kind of want to do this, but like, eh, I didn't really feel like it. There was the the DE one, that, which is, I think it was like the first one back after I remember doing the, the DE one yes. since Origins. That was huge. Yes, that was and massive. I, I missed out on it mm -hmm. um, because I didn't realize it was happening then. I just had like a friend DM me on the day and like, you had to like pay to get into it because yep. of like closing, like closed, like, I think it was like the night before. And I was like, yep. oh, damn, bad timing. And then I took part in the Darius one. Yes. I didn't even get past like, I have no idea what round I even got to. I think Darice it was like... Is genuinely a difficult map. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I hit like 50 like four times in like... I think Darius is just one of those maps that like nobody plays high rounds on. I mean, especially because of the giant, yeah. but like, even still. Well, anymore, anyway. It's just one of those maps that like not a lot of people went for like super high rounds on. Like, I remember like a lot of people, like there was quite a few people who did it, but it was just like there was not many people that would actually get like world records sort of yeah, standard yeah, games Yeah, they would going. take it seriously and actually get a really good round. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, uh, Luke and Chris? Welcome to the stream, guys. And Andrew, thank you for the sub, dude. I appreciate that. You getting Zombie Chronicles in two days? Dude, nice. And how's it going, Leo? Yeah. Welcome to the stream, man. You're in for a good treat there. It's Chronicles. A very good treat. Yeah. Eight wonderful maps. Bar uh, maybe like a few things. <laughs> but, you know, only a couple have a few things wrong with them, but you know, yeah. For the most part, they're eight good what maps. What would you say is your worst map? Worst map in this pack? Origins. Yeah. Origins. It's really yeah. sad for me to say that because I just I I have so much love for Origins yeah. in Black Ops 2 and it's by far my favorite zombies map and then to say it's the my least favorite out of this pack, but it's just yeah. I've, I've played it like four times now and every time I've hated it. Yeah. Like the first time I, I played the Easter egg when the night it came out, I just mm, awful, awful experience. Yeah. Easter egg is rough, I didn't, dude. I didn't play Origins until I think it was like I think it was the end of the second day because I was going. I was obviously doing my first playthroughs. Yeah. And like going in order of like, um, like it is what it was on the menu. Yes. And um, I think I only got to like Ascension like after the first day. And I was like, because I, I think that was my first 100 game. Yes. Ascension, Ascension. Ascension is probably my favorite. Yeah. I didn't realize I'd spent so long on my first playthrough on Ascension. Mm -hmm. But. That you realize how map. easy it is. Yeah. But no, I, I would then, probably say Ascension and Moon are my two favorites in the pack. Although Shang is definitely creeping up there. I think the more that I play Shang, the higher it'll go on my list. Yeah. Shang instantly went to my top. I was just sort of like, it's difficult. I like it. It's, it's <laughs> Once you know that, like, I hated it when I first played it. But once you kind of know how to play the map. Because, like, yeah. I think my issue with it is I'm trying to play the maps like their original counterparts. And not oh, like yeah, I play a Black Ops 3 map. Yeah, that's that my problem when work. I played Kino. Mm -hmm. Like, you gotta play the maps like a Black Ops 3 map over the way they <laughs> are supposed everywhere. to function in their original, because if you don't, then you're just gonna you're gonna find yourself getting trapped, you're gonna find zombies outrunning you, and yeah. it's it's a real mess. And, like, there's certain strategies that you just can't run anymore because they're too... They're, they're not built for the system. in particular. Yep, you, yeah. like, you can run the, the mining room... The 74U room, you can run that okay in Shang, but you have to keep one of the doors closed. Oh, before, yeah. You, before, you could have both of them open, but now it's like you have to keep one of them closed. And even then, it's still pretty. It's one of those, pretty like... Messing. It's one of those, like, strategies that, like, only really good people run at this point, because... Yeah. It's real difficult. Like, I mean, Ascension it's also a lot more difficult. Like, that's one of the strategies that's, like, super oh. risky, but, like... It's so. Fast. I mean, it was risky back in the day, but mm. it's like it wasn't as bad because you could get past like a lot of gaps and yep. you don't now it's like trap anyone so with widow's wine and the zombies. Yeah, it's like widow's wine kind of balances that out, but like when they just get stuck in place in the wrong spots, oh, that's awful. Yeah, I think that's the main problem with Black Ops Three. I, I think they literally built the entire game around widow's wine rather yep. than just making the game. Mm -hmm. Which is a shame, really, but... It really is, and it's like, when you get these maps that weren't meant to be, like, that, meant to have that perk on it, and it's yeah. like, they don't change any features of the inside of the map, so it's like, it's the same map, and it's the same layout, and it's relatively yeah. the same zombie spawns, but it's just like, you've got these new features in it that kind of make it more difficult. Yeah. 
I think the one of the things that annoyed me the most about Black Ops 3 is the fact that if you're like just running back and there's like a zombie just like in front of you, just like you're just watching him and you, you see him like him swipe at you. Yeah, you can watch him despawn. And then also if he tries to hit you, it's like he hits you at the very start of his animation. His arm's still behind him yep, and yep. he's hit you. And you're they just like, well, for sure. and like they'll triple hit you within seconds. Yeah. I mean, they don't even care. It's so fast how quickly you go down. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, Pickaxe Killer? How you doing today? Uh, what level am I on? I'm, if you're talking about, like, level, I'm 363. But if you're talking about round, we're on 23 right now. Right now, we're just waiting on uh, Gaff to get yeah. a box weapon. <laughs> I apologize. I keep getting the PPSH. Nah, it's good, it's really it's annoying. Like, the, the game just hates you, dude. Yeah. This happens all the time. Th this has been a poor box luck for me. Mm -hmm. You got a fucking... Waft straight away. I got away. freaking I waft like... straight away, and then it was like, yeah, you're not getting a wall weapon for like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I got the HPK. Gorgon three times. We can't give you yeah. a Vesper, but here's a Gorgon. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ICR right over Vesper. It's probably a good idea. What's going on, Mickey? How you doing today? Welcome to the stream, man. Vesper, you run out of ammo. Like oh my god, do you business. Ever. <laughs> it's crazy. Vespa's best gun, am I right? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> who, who needs the Apothecan 7 when you got the Vespa? when you got a Vespa with dead wire, dude? <laughs> yeah. M8 again? It's not on the wall here, so... Just thinking about it, I just realized the bootleg is actually a wall weapon, isn't it? It is. I keep forgetting that. It's in the, um... The, <laughs> the side bar room. room. <laughs> Freaking, what an awful room, dude. 5k points for a bootlegger. So bad. I mean, it's better than 5k points for a locust, let's be honest. I mean, oh, I, I, I did that yesterday. Not worth <laughs> it. Like, back in the like, the car 98k was fun when you had that thing scoped in the old one. It was just one of those guns yeah. that you buy just to, like, screw around with it. But, like, the locust, come on, man. Yeah. Now, if it would I mean, have, if they you would have, have 5,000 done... points and it pack-a-punched it, now that... Now, that's a different that's, story. That's that's a but... different story. But five K points for an unpacked locust is just. I mean, it probably would have been worth it if they decided to make it like one of the classic snipers. But mm -hmm. I don't know. There's just something of the Black Ops Three weapons that is just it feels so. They're more bland in my opinion. Yeah, they all it's, just feel the they same. Don't like, have... I just like you look at like this R and it's like ICR HVK. It doesn't matter which one I take. They're all gonna do the same thing. Yeah, they Whereas don't really have the like day, their own little like, niches. It was like, oh yeah, like LMGs, like okay, well, like the RPK is a little bit better than the than the HK, but they're both still really good. But like, I'd rather have one or the other. Now it's just like, oh well, just give me a gun. Yeah. And like, there's no variety either. That's the other thing that I think one of the things that and someone pointed this out on the Reddit I saw and was like, why I don't like Black Ops Three weapons and it's because of the way that you pack a punch them and it's like. Double pack punching is great for the alternate ammo types, but they got rid of all of, like, the unique pack punch variants that you would get in, like, the oh, other yeah. games. Like, pack punching your AUG and getting a shotgun under barrel was, like... Oh, yeah, that was that so was cool. That was so cool. Just, like, little things like that. Like, it was an awful thing. The under barrel was terrible, but it was yeah. just... It was something, like, so small and so little, like... Or, like, the crossbow for, like monkey bomb bolts and like oh that, that was the coolest one I'd just say. like some little that. like cool things like that that made the guns unique and now it's just like you pack punch them and it's like okay well i got a pack punch weapon or like the law or and like the rpg being full auto like that was really cool oh yeah yo what's going on rubsy how you doing man welcome to the stream dude and uh dark Vi viviotic how you doing man how have you been rubsy it's been a while i haven't talked to you in a while man what was that pack punch variant that you got get in the old games? I can't remember. I, I had it in my head and I just completely lost it for some reason. There, like there were some really cool ones back in the day. There was the grenade launcher on the M16, it. yeah. As a... Yeah, the M16 getting the grenade launcher and then becoming full auto as well. Like, <laughs> oh my god, like, now it's so now trash. It's just like, oh, now it's <laughs> awful, dude. It's just like they yeah. removing those like little things. Just like I don't know. They really, they really just like it makes it so much boring. And it just, it seems yeah. like a lot more of it is like, it's just, oh, it's just, I'm going through the motions of just pack punching a weapon to get the thing, and here it is, and it's just a chore kind of, whereas back in the day it was like, man, I can't wait to like, yeah. get a weapon and then pack punch it and have it be different. It, it separated weapons, really. Yeah. Like, it really the gave one you thing, a reason to pack punch certain weapons over other ones. The one thing that I, I think was like a cool idea and like, didn't get executed quite well, and now we're going all the way down to exo-zombies. Ooh. 
And that's the multiple uh, pack punching to yes. like increase your damage. I thought that was than... a cool idea. If it would have yeah. just been like more damage per thing, because that was like you 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 basically you're basically repack punching your weapons just to get ammo at that point with how yeah. little the damage increased. But that was a good idea. And like yeah, that's the I thing, like a lot of people are always talking about how Exo Zombies is such trash, and I'm like, it is, but it had a lot of really good ideas. Yeah. It had a lot like, of they had a lot of great ideas with Exo yeah. Zombies. Right, men in around I got marked right. too, so. Awesome. Uh Gary Francis, what's going on? You've been great. How much stuff? I've been doing great, Robsy. Thanks for asking, man. Glad you've been doing great. I've seen your streams have been killing it, dude. Which is really awesome to see. Is this bullet boost? It's a cash back. Oh. No thanks. Rip. <laughs> if I now don't get cash back until like really late game, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> That's gonna be very sad, dude. Gobble gum luck is the worst. Wow, it's surprising to see zombies in the zombies game mode now. It is. <laughs> it's shocking. <laughs> how that one works. Yeah. You fall like gotta gotta, love, the, gotta love the box luck that you need. And it's just, it's not even like where you can just kind of cycle through weapons quickly because you have to yeah. use crate power. So it's yeah. like you gotta wait for the thing to disappear and then come back and. Yeah. I mean, it's not as bad on like co op um, yeah. if if the other birds can run emulation and the box yep. locations yep. are close by. But on solo, for like a high round on this map. And also a high run on this map, I think like really only one of us can use immolation. Yep. Because the other needs to maximize uh, waff ammo mm -hmm. as much as possible. <laughs> I think I only need to use the Mark II sort of like 35 plus really. I would say so, yeah. I'm going to use it now because I've got no ammo otherwise. But Yeah, my only issue is going to be the whole ammo thing. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna get some HVK ammo. No like, there might be a part of me that just gets another crate power and then pack punches and like an ICR or something. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm gonna try and. I, I think I should try and get an ICR, but. Because I just feel like it would be. It's very long. Over. Over. Because, like, I have the Vesper, which is nice, but it's gonna run out of ammo quick, especially because I don't have any double packs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a max ammo here. Oh, ammo. Beautiful. I'm gonna blast some Wonder Waff shots. Alright, let me know when to get up. Alright. Alright, you're good. Alright. It's cool. Nice. I mean, we're on 25 now, so I mean, it's not like a super high round, but. Yeah. It's decent. It's starting to pick up the pace. Yep. Zombies are starting to get a little bit faster now, which is good. Yeah. They come out of there real fast. Another max. How wonderful. Exactly what we wanted. It's like you gotta fire into the zombies that are still dying with this yeah. spot. Ooh. Seth? Thank you for subscribing. I much pre I much appreciate it. Nice, nice English. <laughs> I I think it's uh, starting to wear off of me. Like some of like the things my IRLs say, because mm -hmm. like they start speaking normally, like for a bit, and then suddenly, oh, they're just gonna hit us up with a uh, like just what is that English? <laughs> yep, with just some like. Oh, dude, just English really is such a fun language, dude. Yeah. Especially, like, the slang people come up with nowadays. Like, I, 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 oh I've adapted it because it's just a part of my life. But just, like, yeah. certain things that people say, I'm just like, man, what do other people <laughs> in, like, other countries think about that shit? Like, yeah. <laughs> it sounds so dumb sometimes. It sounds retarded sometimes, but I'm just like, you know, it's become <laughs> such a way of my life. Like, At this point, it becomes a meme. I might just, like, standing in front of you. I'm sorry. No, you're good, man. <laughs> I'm pretty. I was trying to like move out the way, and then you just like I see the bullets like carry on coming out of me. Right here. You just kill everything. Yeah. Should I try and get that insta kill? I should uh, get that insta kill yeah, like when it's running out. Whenever. Work I'll do it when you're dead. I appreciate that, man. And Almighty Albert, how's it going, dude? Oh, I don't know. That's crazy how good that is. This strat feels a lot easier on solo because rounds are so much quicker. Mm-hmm. Rounds definitely go a lot, lot longer yeah. on co-op. 
You uh, mentioned that you saw uh, Sulky Strat in this room, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, I do not know how we can get around the whole trying to get max ammo thing. It's you know crazy, how he does dude. that like really weird hoard up. Yep. I don't know how he just doesn't get hit like around this corner and like the second cut back or whatever. It's crazy how he does I... it. Yeah, because I remember trying to do it and I always get like trapped about here. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, well, there's got to be, like... be like a pattern that he does to it. Yeah. Like a way that like he knows he has an idea of where the zombies are going to come from. Yeah, because I also find like there's a lot of zombies that come and just like stop behind like the counter as well. Yep. I'm and also just like, be well, like a sporadic thing too, like just, just yeah. kind of depends. Like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Maybe. It's a possibility. I think I'm gonna try and do this again solo some point and uh You should. You know you know try the trap strap that yep. people have been running. There's that the, Did that's you see what Steve's doing, right? Yeah, but there's a, there's also another one that Mossy made. Yeah. And that th that thing's insane. Is it? Because it's a double trap strat, which Ooh. is... I don't know how he's managed to get that to work. I feel like that would be um, super quick on this map. Yeah. Like, be, is that... The normal trap strat, where you just hold that one window, that's, that's yeah. fast. That's really fast. So, like, yeah. I can't even imagine how quick a double must be. Yeah, I think... Only problem with the second trap is that you can only do, like, a half hold. Mm -hmm. um, even because still, though, it's... that still picks it up. Yeah. But there's like some really dodgy things with timing. Like yeah. I think it's when you call in the first trap. I mean, the only advantage of it is that it keeps this door shut, so you can do kitchen whenever you got ammo for it. Yep. Um, That's a good. But idea. what it uh, like? What you have to do? You have to like wait. Like a, you have to call the trap in. You have to wait like about a half a second to like a second, and then run through the trap, so you don't get damage from the trap because the trap's basically insta down you now. Yes, they do. But then it actually kills all the zombies, like for definite. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, well, how do you get that timing down so perfectly that you don't down every time? I guess it's a matter of just doing it over and over again. Yeah. Eventually you so get I, it. it. If you remember back to Spaceland, there was the high round strat with their, um, the, whatever it was, the crocodile or whatever. Yes. It was um, a matter of just timing it. Yeah, the amount of times I like I've accidentally gone down, like just being caught at the end of it, mm -hmm. like just Getting sliding out right at the end. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the worst. It's terrible, dude. Yo, what's going on, Nikolai? Thank you for that host. I appreciate that, man. You know that everyone gives uh, IW Zombies a really hard time. It's a good I game. I don't think it's actually that bad. I think it's fun to just go and screw around in. I, I enjoy yeah. it. They did a lot of really good stuff with the zombies mode. Yeah. I like the way they handle the fate and fortune cards. Oh, yeah. That was one of my sure. favorite things in the game. They did a genius job with that. Yeah. I don't like that you're limited to the amount that you can have per game. I'm not yeah. a fan of that. I like how the gobblegum system is you can get as many as you want in the game. But... Yeah. I like how it's like, oh, you can have whichever one you want at the same time. Oh, dude, I'm gonna die. Uh, Alright, so I'm marked tasteful. <laughs> Realize that the uh, HVK gets a little bit bad at this point. He's in non paps at the moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm using paps, so. Yeah, I need to. I might try to, if we can. Where's my camera? Get a cash back. Or not a cash back, a crate power out of the Gobblegum machine. Yeah. Try to save a zombie, and then I'll try to. Yeah, I think I might have to do the same because I want to get a. That's the last, I think. Yes. No, it isn't. Ooh. Or not. We got a couple more. Right. Yeah, right you you, you kill your one. Few. You kill your one. This one's slightly slower, so. Gotcha. Might be a bit easier to deal with. Yep. And also, you got two now, so. Yes. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Nice. Rain like drops. I don't hit. want that. Probably just gonna hit it again anyway. Yeah, you got enough points. I got more than enough points to do this. Yeah. You get a lot of points in this strat. You do, especially it's only 4,500. Jesus, dude, that's cheap. Yeah. I cash back. I don't really want that. Oh, I got a bullet boost. Nice. Hey, nice. I haven't actually used one yet, somehow. Completely forgot about it, to be fair. Blast furnace. Perk oh, right. I don't know what. Should I There's keep blast furnace? Dude. I mean, if you've got enough bullet boost to get another one, I would. You could even yeah. try to, like, just run Blast Furnace for a bit until 
Yeah, I think I might do that. Until you get another bullet boost and then trade it out just to see. Yeah. Because when I was wa uh, watching Sulky, he was using Blast Furnace because it would kill like a bigger horde. But then yep. he also said, oh yeah, it actually, it Deadwire doesn't create drops. But it does now. Yep. So I think it's the, like... the idea was that Deadwire didn't create drops in these maps, but they do. It's every map except for Shadows and the Giant. Oh, okay. Because people were like, are they running the Zombie Chronicles engine off of the same as the Shadows and Giant? Or is it only specific maps? But pretty positive it's every map. Yeah. I'm gonna run Blast Fans for a bit then. Um, right. If it's alright, I'm gonna go to the toilet quick. That's fine, take your time. Right. Back in a second. So, what's going on, chat? How you guys doing today? What's going on, Order Fries? Welcome to the stream. How have you guys been? Playing some of Rux. We've got the zombie. He keeps getting stuck. If I swear to God, if that zombie dies, I'm going to be very mad. You better stay alive, sir. Okay, it's only 28. We're good. Fallen Rise, what's going on? How you doing today? Welcome to the stream, man. I'm going to try to get rid of that grenade. Of course, it hits the zombie. Public enemy. Thanks for subbing, dude. Uh, if I do sub games at some point, Andrew, possibly. Please don't die. Thank you. All right, we're good. We are all good. This is actually really fun. I'm really enjoying Verrucked. I'd love to go for like a solo high round on Verrucked at some point. We should definitely, I think we should definitely try that, boys. That's definitely going to be in the near future. Once I get more bullet boosts, that's for sure. I think the next thing that I'm going to start doing is trying to do like round 100s on maps. And I think we're going to start with Ascension because Ascension's kind of the easiest one. So we'll do like Ascension and Moon. And then... <laughs> I want to do Shang. I just hit the box for no reason. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. I, oh, it's, uh, it's Teddy. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, Mystic, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. All right. And Z-Boy, how you doing, man? Welcome. Got another bullet boost. Are you kidding me? All right. All right, we good? Don't have any more. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Let's go. Nice. I'm going to try to hit the brow. Gobble gum. Right. Oh yeah. The beginning. See if we get a great power. I should. Imagine how convenient it would be if there was a gobble gun machine in the kitchen. Right. All right. It should be my next hit then, because I just got raindrops. Yeah. Pretty sure I'm on a new cycle now. Yeah. Because I got raindrops like two hits ago, and now I just got it again. Yeah. I think the only problem with Gobblegum Cycles, you have to like keep a track of it for the entire game. Yep, every every hit you make. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's fine, but that's sometimes it's like you forget to and you you're like, well... You one cycle and the entire thing's ruined. Yeah. That's literally all it takes. I've, I've got like a little like whiteboard and a pen for it, but the thing is that it's like, I think I need to switch over to uh, good old pen and paper. Yeah. Or pencil and paper. Just so I, like, because the, pen, the pens dry out, so I try and write it down. Just like, well, I can't yeah. even see that I've done it now. <laughs> then you just, that's, yeah, that's got to be frustrating. Rip the cycle. Hey, uh, Scared Cookie, what's going on? How you doing today? Well, Blundell said that uh, cycles are a big feature in they uh, are a huge Three feature. Zombies. And they're in everything. They are. Literally everything. <laughs> Even in the gobble gums. Die, demon hell pigs. They're everywhere. You, know how you, can't, he you said, can't escape them. You know how he said that, um, uh, what was it? Mob of the Dead is, uh, he's got a different plan for Mob of the Dead. Yes. What, what do you reckon that plan is? I personally think that it's going to be the pre-order bonus for the next game. Yeah. Either that or it's going to be somehow featured in the next game in some way. Yeah. I mean... I wouldn't put it past them if they put it as like a single map, like DLC, kind of like the giant on this game. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Something like that. But and it's like, like... It'll be like their pre-order bonus and then they'll eventually release it publicly. Yeah. Just like they did but with the giant. I think, like, if I, if they put it in this game, it would have ruined the map, I would have 100%. Thought. 100%. Especially with the but, way just the Black Ops 3 system runs. Like, I'm just yeah. imagining playing Mob of the Dead with the way that these maps are and the way that the zombies move yeah. 
and it's just like, uh, that does not sound like a fun time to me. Yeah, Too get trapped on everything. Orders. I mean, if they made, like, you know, the sort of, like, clipping system, kind of, like it was in Shadows? Yeah. So you can get past, like, every zombie ever. Yeah, see, ever. if it was, like, if they ran off the Shadows engine, I feel like Shadows plays very differently than some of the other maps in Black Ops 3. Yeah. I think there's one other map that runs... I think there's one other map that runs very similarly to Shadows. Where I'm gonna get that max basically out. Yeah. But what, what's the... I, th I think it's Revelations that runs on the Shadows. I think it is. Because sort of. you can get through basically Revelations every gap ever. a lot of assets from other maps. Yeah. It doesn't really create much of its own. Yeah. It's basically the whole map is the other maps. All can you double pat them like up too? Like weapons, yeah. even. Yeah. Unfortunately, you cannot pat the Mark II, double pat it, but. Yeah. I reckon they could change that. I feel like they, they could. I mean, they made the Boom Hilda double pack punchable. Oh, yeah. Which is shocking to me. Did you guys hear that voice? I think the Boom Hilda's worse than it was in Original Origins. I think so too. Right, I think that's end around. I'm going to try to hit. Not yeah. Them. Yeah, um, I've got one zombie just turn around, so if you want to kill you both yours, that's cool. That's alright. Gotcha. I'll take them out. What's my favorite Zombie Chronicles camo? Um, I think the blue, the blue one's my favorite. Oh, that really do like the red. Hey, where is all the ammo at? There we go. What there. was the, the, the red one? Was uh, Garnet or something? Yeah. I kind of like that one. Yeah. Oh, that's the Vesper. That's not what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna go trade this out for like a crap weapon. Yeah. And then I'll go hit the box. Uh, L cards down here. We'll get that. All right. So we're gonna hope for the ICR, the HVK. So this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna hope that I get. I didn't get the ICR at all. Ooh. Throw out like 40k points or something. Rip. Yo, what's going on, Pokemon Go? How you doing, man? All right, BRM. I don't really want that. Reminds me of trying to get the baby maker on Shang. Oh, no. oh god. It's the worst. I will be very interested to see what the leaderboards are going to look like when when they get released for Zombie Chronicles, like, round-wise. Because, like, Verrucked and, like, Knocked and um, Shinonuma, they're going to be significantly different between, like, Megas, Classics, and no Gobblegums. Oh, yeah. What do you mean on uh, Zombie Records? Yeah. Yeah, Because it's sure. like... No megas, I feel like, like local, you don't have to worry about crashes, but like, I reckon online, they might actually be quite similar because of that. Guns. Yeah, like I reckon they will probably be like more similar because mm -hmm. of that. Because if you look at like, there's a pretty Garth wide Proby. gap between local and, or like, yeah. there's a pretty wide gap between like classics and megas for like some of the maps. Yeah. And then people who run no gobblegums just how? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They are the obviously I've the god tier players. I've seen people that do no gobble gum speed runs on like Gord Crowby's Easter Egg, and I'm just like, how? How do you do yeah. that? I can't even beat <laughs> it with Mega Gobble Gums. And Dead Man Walking. And you're, and you're over here doing it in 30 minutes with no gobble gums. Like, just how do people madness. do this? It's insane. I, I've done. Uh, I didn't do the Revelations Easter Egg solo, but I'm not even going to attempt Gord Crowby. I've done it once on solo. Yeah. And that was like when the map came out. And yeah. all the crashes existed. I went through like eight oh, different God. crashes before I was finally able to beat it. There was one time where I got to the final step of it and I was charging the summoning key to like throw at Sophia to kill the Shadow Man. And oh, as yeah. soon as I picked the summoning key up, it crashed. Oh no. I I, I was so mad. That was awful. I that was probably the worst. Just thinking about Revelations, there was so many bad things in it. So like... many, it was so glitchy when that map came out. So many bugs, so many errors. Yeah. I think the most disappointing, like obviously, first playthrough was awesome. Like, but that's yeah. like every Black Ops Three map. It was like a, an insane first playthrough. It was like, Should oh I my take god, this is so and cool. Punch them. Uh, yeah, I guess. I'm All good. Right. I'm gonna do it. Why not? Um, wow, there's um. With Revelations, you got uh, basically everything's like reused assets. So after like the first few playthroughs, you're just sort of like, well, this is literally just, you're just like, like the, okay, yeah, I'm map. literally just playing old maps at this point. Like this is horrible. Yeah, like if Revelations they did like this, they it was like just a new map and it was like in the style of like what it was in the first Man, room. Man, if that like spawn that would have been awesome. If, like the whole map looked like kind of the spawn room. 
Yeah. I thought that would have been an awesome map. Yeah, but... It would have been cool if they would have made it, like, its own map with, like, certain elements of other maps. Like, you could see parts of other maps and stuff. But the fact that they just literally mashed together a whole bunch of other maps together is what... It was yeah. cool for the nostalgia factor for the first few plays. It was awesome. But then after a while, you just kind of, like, this is awful. Why? Why? Yeah. Why did Why did they waste the <laughs> on this? Especially because yeah. it's the last one too. Like, had it have been yeah. like the third DLC or like second, then it would have been like, okay, well, I mean, like, at least we got more to look forward to. Like, it was the last one. It was the closing chapter of Black Ops Three, and yeah, it's just sad that that's the route they went. I mean, the ending cutscene, to be fair, at first, terrible. Like, at I hate it. Same, but way, I, I'm... same, st same way as Origins. Yeah, and it's like it, I'm, I'm sorry, kicking myself because like after watching the interviews and Blundell was just like. Yeah, you thought they would have learned at the Origins cutscene, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah you no. know, you really thought we would have learned at the Origins cutscene. And now I'm yeah. like, well, I can't wait for it to pay off, because it will eventually. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, like, oh, it just says at the end, the end of the end, but it's like, yeah. it definitely isn't, because, because he already like, said, oh, it. this is actually the end of zombies, like. Yeah. No, it did that with Origins, though, as well. Yep. It really felt like it was just, like, all a game at that point. And... Yeah. Thing is, with Origins, I always like, I always like, oh yeah, it's just gonna carry on. Yep. Because it, it's it seems so blatant that it would. Mm hmm. It seemed but like, like they a had, lot of people it's took like, it too literally it, it got at to the a start point of it. Where we were, everybody was like sitting like, okay, it's all a game, but then there were people on the other spectrum that were like, now they have endless possibilities of where they can go with this. Yeah. So it's like we just we on both sides of the spectrum, we had no idea what was going on. And yeah. no one could pinpoint anywhere that that cutscene was supposed to play yeah. into the storyline. Like we had it mostly figured out for the for the most part everything, and then that that cutscene dropped, and it's just like, what the hell is yeah. going on right now? I just because like with Black Ops Three, 3 in him. mind, it makes oh. so much more sense. Yeah. But like back in the day, there was nothing about like the souls or the summoning key or the Shadow Man, the Apocalypse, yeah. the house. None of that was known. The children, we knew nothing I about mean, any of that, and they just dropped fair. that information like. What the hell? It's the fact that they had the whole of Black Ops Three plan then, mm -hmm. which was, which is like the bit that was mind blowing to me. I was just it sort is, of like, it's crazy. How it was like three years ago. I well, doubt Blundell had like the intricacies of how everything was gonna go. I'm sure there was some stuff that they came yeah. up with in Black Ops Three, but for the most part, I'm sure because yeah. he said that when he made Mob, he kind of knew where he wanted the story to go, and yeah. I'm sure they had a general idea of what they were doing at that point. Yeah, and uh, obviously Doctor Monty was already thing in a uh, yep. thing in Origins, but yep, it just wasn't start. mentioned. Yeah, only given a slight mention. It's like so they yeah. knew what they were doing at that point. It's just yeah. I think a lot like of people like to use that whole callback of like like when they do callbacks and stuff like that. Then it's like a lot of people are like, oh man, they've got the, yeah. they've had this planned out since War at War like eight years. Like no, yeah. no, it's just a callback like. A lot of people freak out over that kind of stuff, and they're like, man, I can't believe yeah. Treyarch has had this whole thing planned out. So it's like, no. I, I don't yeah. think they got heavy on the story until Black Ops 1. Like, they had, like, a base sort of mm -hmm. plan. They had an idea, and then Maybe. they just yeah. blossomed ideas off of that. Yeah, I got ICR, by the way. Oh, sweet. Just a little so, After a million hits, we were, finally. Uh, finally got the guns. I'll still probably try to get an ICR at some point, but... I'm content with yeah. what I have now. How's it going, Exo Zombie? Welcome to the stream. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's round 31, to be fair. It doesn't. <laughs> it could either feel like really low rounds, or it could feel like 100 right now, because yes. the amount of box like It's crazy that how be... yeah. hey, co op goes. May I ask how, uh, why you have that absolute abomination of a sight on the KN44? That's. Um, oh, you, that's for you. Yeah, I have the. Uh, Recon Scion. Oh. Because I, I, I'm doing uh, challenges. Trying to get like, the challenges, like, yeah. Yeah, because they're the last things I've got to do on Black Ops 3, mm -hmm. other than 100 every map. I think Recon Scion is the only one that I don't have the uh, sights on. The thermals yeah. were pretty rough to get the sights on. <laughs> you did the thermals then. Yeah. Oh, I did no. so much of the giant to get that kind of stuff. Those like, I would yeah. just go in and just rock those. Like the giant sites. to me is like my least favorite map like ever at this point because I've played, I, I played it so much. way too much, trying to yeah. do camos and challenges and stuff like yeah. that. And upgrading the amount guns. of uh, bad times I've had in that map going for a hundred as well. Oh yes, oh. yes, I've tried high rounds and I just can't do it. Like when you get that run, you know that you've got that run. Yep. But it's like if you don't, if you're not feeling it like early on, you're not gonna get it. It's really weird with that map. Yep. 
Like, I remember, I think it was like, there was one time I wasn't even trying for 100, but then, like, I was like, I had that, I, you had that feeling like, oh, this is gonna be a good run. And I managed to double down in 97. Yeah, you get something good going. It's just, yeah. it, it really, like, it sucks when you get that close. Yeah. But that's that, just that how it works hurts. sometimes. It was my it was my first zombies game back, like after just taking like a huge break and mm -hmm. like going back to Destiny and all that. And I came back and I decided, oh, I'm just gonna play the giant and just get back into zombies. I and here? I managed to get 103 on it, which is like the first time I hit 100 on that map. Dang! I was like, that doesn't even make sense. Like I haven't yeah. played for ages. <laughs> That's crazy. Ah, uh, can you give me tips on how to get subs? I mean, sure, getting NBA, subs, it's all. not. It's like. There's not a set way to do it. There's yeah. like, there's ways to improve your channel and like get people to attra attracted to your channel, but it's all just kind of a magic box when it comes down to it on whether yeah. people are gonna stumble on your channel. Cause you figure you're one person streaming out of like, or I guess streaming or making videos, whichever you're doing, um, is you're one person out of thousands. So it's like, yeah. you've got to find a way to set yourself apart. And like, that can be very hard to do. I think one of the biggest things Especially to now. do, one of the biggest things to do is to like find a time where you you're comfortable streaming and get a schedule. Like that's that's one of the biggest yeah. things that you can do because it's like yeah. you look at like TV shows and stuff and like they're super popular and um, people go and watch them. Well, like you know what if you your know TV, what, sh TV show didn't air on the day that you were expecting it to air, and it's like. Well, you'd, you'd be pretty upset if that didn't happen. You'd be wondering why why nothing happened. So it's like people that view streams on a regular basis, you know, if you have a set schedule and you're like, yeah, I'm going to stream every day at this time, and you don't and you miss one day, they're going to sit there and they're going to be like, well, why isn't he streaming? He said he was going to stream yeah. at this time. And obviously some people are going to be more like understanding about that, and they're going to be like, oh, well, he probably had some issues going on. But a lot of people are just kind of like, well, if he's not going to stream, then I'm not going to bother watching anymore. Yeah, exactly. And, that's one of the biggest it, things. Consistency is the hugest thing in, for yeah. anybody. You ask any streamer, that is the number one thing that gets people to grow, is consistency. Yeah. And it's not just streaming, it's uh, just making videos as well. Exactly. Yeah, making quality, like even that, it's like if they expect, like, like, I look at like guys like Philip DeFranco and it's like, he's got this awesome system. He has new videos that they come out. It's like 3 p.m. Eastern time every, every certain days or whatever. And it's like, yeah. people expect that. It's gotten to a point where people are anticipating that every day. And if he doesn't yeah. get that video out there on that day, then it upsets a lot of people. And you can lose a lot of viewers very quickly that way. Yeah. I mean, like, one, like as a one-off, like, every so often, it's not too bad. No, it's not. But it's if you make it a habit, it can be a real problem. Yeah. It's horrible if you do it way too much. Yep. Dubstep monkey behind you. No. Yep. <laughs> right. I was trying to get out of that. Yeah, that cage of zombies like a there. Bit of a sticky situation. It man. is. Those dubstep monkeys will down you quickly too. Oh, well, does it cause damage to you as well? I believe so. I remember them doing that on Gorod. Yeah, I've never actually used them before because I never. They're really away. good against the zombies. They're really strong. Yeah, but I guess I guess they had to sort of buff them up to actually be able to compete with like stuff like little armies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they made them really but, good when you pack punch them, but it's just they can hurt you, and that's an issue. Yeah. Come, let's dance hey, what's going on, Muffin Girl? How you doing today? When I was thinking about it, like, recently, I was just sort of thinking about, like, the Wonder Weapons, and they sort of... Although there's been, like, new Wonder Weapons and stuff, they haven't been as innovative as they, as they were back in the day. They definitely haven't. Yeah, that's probably fair. But I, I had a thought, like... What if they just took like a different approach to it? And obviously, because my my other main game is Destiny. Yeah. I was like, maybe if they took like a sort of weapon design from like that, and like give each like weapon like sort of like perks, I guess. Because mm -hmm. I remember, if you if any of you uh, who's watching stream uh, play uh, Destiny and you are aware of the Touch of Malice, I mean, it's it's a cool idea. It's only specific for certain things. But Galaxy RCG, thank you for subscribing. Um, but they had the perk on it was like um, the last bullet in the mag would like regenerate, yeah, and it would that's cause a cool double idea. damage. It would like cause double damage, but then it would also cause like uh, damage to the person shooting. So it's like it's like it's like a really nice, neat idea. 
I mean, yes, it may not be that good no, in like, like a lot of situations. No, it's like something small like that that can be really, really yeah. cool. A really cool idea would, for them to do. Yeah, it would make it, like, it interesting, I'd say. Yep. Like, because now we've just got, like, we've got one Wonder Weapon a game. Well, I think it would be cool if they, they changed up, like, they shaked up Wonder Weapons, because a lot of them are just like, oh, yeah, you just fire it off and it kills the whole group of zombies and that's it. Yeah. Whereas, like, some of the Maybe. some of the Wonder Weapons that are, like, very unique in how they work are really cool. Yeah. Personally, my uh, the baby makes is my favorite. Yeah, like I like sure. that. That's such a unique idea. Like, oh yeah, you make yeah. you make the shrink the zombies and then you have to kick them. Like, that's such a cool yeah. idea to it. And a lot of people don't like that because it's, you know, it's it's not an immediate effect. It doesn't get you out of a corner, but it's it shakes it up, it changes it, it makes it different yeah. than just the standard. Changes how you oh, play the game. I'm just oh, I'm trapped in a corner. Let me just shoot one weapon and there we go. We're free. Yeah. It's a really it's like. Such a cool idea, but you haven't really seen much since then. Like, no, you haven't. Honestly, they don't do a lot of stuff like that. Like, I like, like the wave gun is a cool weapon, and I like it, but it definitely is just follows that basic pattern of like you just yeah. shoot it to kill him. But right. it's a cool idea how they did it with the whole, like puffing up and, yeah, exploding. It was a, it was a cool effect. Mm -hmm. But like, we, ha like we haven't they, seen when, much. If they're since at least gonna like do that, I like how they do it in like cool effects and whatnot. But yeah, it's like I would like more weapons that are just kind of different. Yeah. I, I mean, cool. if you think back to uh, Call of the Dead, we had the VR-11, like, on Solo, it's not that good. The VR-11 was, was a... like, the best co-op weapon. Yeah, because it would give you insta-kill, insta and it's like, yep. it's, so... it's actually like a, it's like a really cool idea. Yeah. But it's like... Call of the Dead was such a unique map, because it was the one map where um, co-op was, co was actually than... higher than regular. Yeah. And we'll take it out, Chemical. Lewis Atkins, thank you for subscribing. Welcome What's to the stream. Lewis and uh, Aaliyah, I welcome to the stream. Galaxy. I do want to do an Area 51 game at some point. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Wait, who was it? Was it, was it Steve who did it like the other day or Scotty and he got like 3,000 kills on Yeah, it. dude, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my did god. You see, just... I don't know. Did you see Smith Plays did? Um, he got near death experience and just left his controller on. And like just, just sat there and just died over and over. He had like three thousand downs in his game. Wait, seriously? <laughs> yep. I didn't see this. Because yeah, you get near because no rounds pass in Area Fifty One, and near death is a round based gobble gum, and it revives you every time you die. So he just he just left his game on, sat in a corner, and just let the zombies keep killing him, and it kept reviving him, and he had like three thousand downs in the game. That's insane. It is. Like, you literally have to end your game to quit or go to the moon base. It's crazy. Oh, that makes them so beautiful right there. It really I'm, gonna I'm gonna throw some monkeys. Yeah. Since they're actually good and kill zombies. Monkeys are better than their lanis and the fact that it doesn't make your game crash. Yes. <laughs> right, pick a max when you're ready. Alright. Going for it. Yeah, those max ammos are pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think 50 is definitely going to be in it. Definitely possible. Yeah. I don't think we'll have much of a tr struggle getting there. Yeah. Really Abraham it. said it was Scott. It was Scott. He did the 4,000. It was Scott. 3,000. That's insane. Yeah. I wonder if they'll put that on the leaderboards for Chronicles. Because they have it yeah. on the other moon. But, like, it just seems like now it's less of a it challenge just, it to just do seemed, anything with it. it. Yeah, it just seems dumb. It feels like there's more variables now. Because back in the day, when, when uh, I remember it was it was Mato Master who had the original record. I think someone took it from him. Oh yeah, he had 401, didn't he? Yeah, it was crazy. Like, yeah, just was, breaking 400 was just insane. It was very competitive. If you broke 400 on No Man's Land, you were like pretty crazy. Yeah, top players. Right. It was um, what was that? Was it? I think it was Scotty again. He uh, beat the original uh, No Man's Land record like just before Chronicles. Yep. He managed, he managed to get 413 or something, which Dang. is just mad. That's insane. Now it's just like uh, it's just free now it's, You just slap on it, like disorderly combat, pack punch your MR6, yeah. and it's just like, yep, here's a list of pack punch weapons that I have now. Yeah. I don't think uh, the original No Man's Land is going to be beaten anymore because no, of I don't that think it 413. Ever will. That 413 is just way too high now. Yep. It's, it like beat it by like a good 10 plus kills. And yep. like, it doesn't sound like much. And back then, nice. it, it was thought that like where it was, it was unbeatable. And then to beat it yeah. by 10 kills, it's like beating it by one would have been like, okay, you know, that's 
that could yeah. be possible to be, but like when you're that big of, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a number, like you said, but like it is when it comes down to it. Oh damn, I almost went down because Mark II does splash damage now, like oh, slightly. Really? There's like a, there's like a, I don't know whether it's a bug or it's like a slight intentional yeah, thing that they did. Small amount. It's a very tiny amount, but it's like when they're right up in your face that yep. it like causes the splash damage. So. Yeah, what's going on, Andrew? How you doing today? Welcome to the stream, man. I have like four uh, people that watch my stream named Andrew. It's yeah. crazy. You playing PC or console? We are on uh, PS4 right now. Sony Console uh, Chronicles is on. Yep. I think that's round. Yeah. Dupe. Right. Um. If this is crate power, I'm gonna try. Yeah, it's crate power. I'm gonna try for the uh, assault rifle again. Nice. That's nice to hear, Lois. Um, I mean, we could. I mean, I don't know what the world record on this map is. Yeah, for two player. Think, like, I, I'm pretty sure. Like, we're only gonna find that when uh, record uh, zombie records. Yep. Once I get so, more bullet boost, I would love to do some serious high rounds, though. Oh yeah, for sure. Yo, what's going on, BJ? The feeling is mutual, my man. <laughs> you could take that out of context so easily. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's me yes, turning into a meme. Jesus. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Shadow Gamer? You're new? Well, welcome to the stream, dude. Thanks for being here, dude. <laughs> when you said that, I just started looking around and just being like, did you just realize you just said that? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just say things and you're like, oh, well. Yeah. You're just reading chat and you're just like... Seems like a great idea. <laughs> well, Yeah. Now, now it's just gonna get clipped and out and just like, out all over Twitter. And they'll make a video about it and then it's like, oh, <laughs> well, rip me. Yeah. You gotta love the internet. It's like I Jason like how Black they did this whole, fun. like, the little, little things, like, stepping into, like, the blood shower. I like this. Oh, yeah. So cool. I know it's that. Like I remember, I was showing my friend that yesterday. I was just sort of like, oh yeah, step over there, and it's just sort of like, oh, it's what so happens? So weird, dude. And it just like completely screws up your vision. You're just like, yep. wow, that's cool. What something that I don't really know why, but it's like it's like a really minor thing. But you know when you walk over like these this like rubble over here, yes, it like does like a sort of like. It sounds like, uh, you know, one of those, like, skeleton things where it's just, like, walking around. Yes. And, like, you can hear the bones rattling yep. and all that. I don't know why it sounds like that. It just doesn't sound quite right for it's some It's weird, dude. It really is. Mm. Like, it, I'm, I haven't really got a problem with it, but... Yeah. I like. I kind of like the sounds that they added to Zombie Chronicles. Yeah. Like, the headshot and, like, the hit marker sounds and stuff like that. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool they did change it up a I loved, little bit. I love their, um... The fact that they did like new round changes, like yes, that was I mean, cool. I thought that was a cool idea. I mean, like I like the original, but some of the co like new ones are some of the awesome. new ones are pretty dope. Yeah, the uh, moon one is the, like really like, odd. A couple hours now. I mean, we started. It's been yeah. like two hours now, Andrew. And we're on thirty six, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Um. Welcome to the stream, Ebra. How's it going, man? Box like screwed us a lot. Zombie. <laughs> Do you still have a zombie on you? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Wait, and he's second. over here now. And Tom Hills, how's it going? And Rudder Guy, welcome. Uh, I'm not taking the PPSH because I need a wall weapon. Because ammo is important. Right, I've got a zombie now. Sweet. BRM again. Something that um, I don't really know why they didn't do is put like some of the newer weapons in the weapon kit section. Yeah. Like Razorback. Yeah, that's a good uh, idea, they... dude. Like, and why didn't PPSH. they do that? Like, it just seems like a, such a simple thing. It does. It really does. And, What's going on, Clifford? And also, on, they didn't put it in, like, the combat record kills. I, would, I wish they would have put, like, uh, yeah, the one the weapons in the Yeah, they only have the weapon kit record. ones in the combat kills. Like, I'd like to see what I did with, like, wonder weapons and stuff like that. Yeah. I reckon my most used is easy, the Apothecary Servant. Yep, same. By a mile. Because of Revelations. <laughs> oh, yeah. Revelations is such a dumb map, honestly. It really is, dude. It's, like, 10 hours Revelation. to 150. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, it's like it's the, I think it's the fastest 100 in any. Apart from, uh, like, the glitching in Diarize, but that's glitching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Diarize, it was, like, less than two hours for yeah. freaking 100, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, But for this one, it's, like, for Revelations, I think it's, like, three and a half is the fastest someone got. 
Yeah. Which is freaking insane. Uh, I don't use wall power because I need... I don't have a spot for it for my gobble gums. Yeah. Welcome and again, to the I suppose I probably could have taken it off for raindrops, but like that extra ammo could come in handy. Yeah. And like... It depends how high you get of a round. Mm -hmm. It's... Really, it's... But... it's and it's just, it's a waste of gobble gum, to be honest. Because it's so much easier yeah. to just use crate power. Like, yeah, you have to hit the box a lot, but, like, you, you have the points. It's not like it's, not like you're wasting yeah. anything, really. Or, like, it's just time. Yeah. Does anyone else hear that? Or is it a lot of, a lot of setting up on these old maps is yep. hitting the box. Just, I mean, I guess that's what it was in the original, but it wasn't as intensive, I wouldn't say. Yeah, because you didn't have to, like, have a specific gobble gum and only take a certain weapon. And... Yeah. Probably something I missed about the old maps that you can just you just hit the box, get the weapon. You're good mm. for a high round. Yep. Uh, I, I kind of liked it uh, being slightly different anyway. I did too. I liked you but, know, It's nice that they changed it up a bit. Yeah. Mob of the Dead was the first one with that. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I guess I guess Transit was, if you think about it. Because yeah. it was buildable, wasn't it? But it wasn't the first proper, like, good change. Yes. Transit had a lot of very, very bad issues. Transit brought a lot yeah. to the table. Yeah. But I mean, to be fair, it actually, if you think about it, it's like, it wasn't good, but innovative. It's not a lot. good, but it's the reason we have a lot of the stuff that we do nowadays in zombies. Yeah. Buildables were introduced. Yep. Um, just more of like an interactable system. Yeah. Stuff. It, it wasn't just sort of, oh, go through rounds. Yep. There was more to do. Um, yeah. Bigger maps, like. That's where we really started getting huge maps. Like, Moon was decently sized. Moon's still one of the largest yeah. maps out there. Yeah. But Transit was where we got, like... I think Transit is still, to date, the biggest map. Yeah. It's... it's wait, did you say... Either between Transit or Moon, I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, wait, did y'all say uh, around 250 is just 10 hours in Revelations? No, I meant 150. If I said yeah. 250, I apologize. <laughs> Even 250. Like, 255 is not... Like, it's long, but compared to other it's maps... It's not a challenge. Yeah. I think um, yeah, the growth has been pretty great, Lewis. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's been awesome at this end as well. Mhm. Mm it's been nice. It's a, uh, it's it's nice. Growing on YouTube yeah. is fun. Took a break from YouTube after like um, basically giving up on the whole sniping community. So yeah, yeah that I was took a massive <laughs> break for a couple worst months. community. <laughs> They update the weapon kits. Yeah, it'd be great. Like, plus it's like if they updated more of the weapon kits, like, they being able to like level up more weapons too would be. Yeah. I reckon it would be cool if they like did like a. I know it's obviously not at all important, but if they did like a few new like sites, like. Mm -hmm. That'd have been kind of like a, a couple more things little... in there, just to kind of give the yeah. players more. Like, I don't know. There's there's some things in Black Ops 2 that I, I question their decisions as to why they did certain things and. First it takes my money, then it yeah. Disappears. I don't know. Just like my it's a good game. Do you, remember, do you remember back when Revelations first came out and everyone was like um, trying to like break down the trailer? Yes. And it was like, oh my god, we're going to be able to get the Hell's Retriever yep, again. There was a huge part of people oh. that thought that it, it legitimately did look like it. It did. The yeah. way that that was going. But then you look back and you're like, oh, yep, nope. It just feels really stupid now. Mm, you just feel like uh, an idiot having to make yeah. those claims and whatnot. But it... Back in the day, people, that's what you do. People grasp onto so much. Yeah, like, it's so like little things. People were just like, "Oh, this is gonna mean something." People like devour those trailers. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean that's what makes zombies community what it is. It like, does. It really does. Grasp on literally nothing like that, and make that, something the out. The Chronicles of it. trailer. People were digging into that because there's usually reasons to dig into it too. Yeah, like they hide a lot of stuff. Treyarch does that. They hide things in their trailers and. I think the Chronicles trailer is going to make more sense when the next game comes out. I think but... so too. Because it it does there. not look like a typical trailer, like just showing yep. off maps and stuff. It is definitely basically one hundred percent story. Mm -hmm. You basically. know how they've been like finding the Samantha like Easter yes. eggs to get like the max ammo recently. Do you think that that could like be a cross map thing once you complete all of them? It's like a something possibility. Something could happen. Who knows? I feel like it's such a small thing, but it's like. They could do you would have thought that they it. would have done. I mean, with the amount I'm, of time I'm, that they've had to remaster point, the I'm maps. I'm certain there's one in every map. Yeah, they, after, they found after one. After the one on the Ascension of the Moon. Now I'm like, okay, 
Yeah. There has to be one on every map now. Ascension and Moon, I believe, right, got found no, last night. Nice. Ascension was found? Yeah, last night. Oh, really? I know Moon oh, was found. Morning. I saw that. I did not see Ascension. Yeah. So That's what is that? Varuk? So Snapped. Yeah, there's one. Wait, did they, no, found? they didn't find one on Varuk. They found one on Shino. Oh, yeah. Shino. It was Noct, yeah. Shino, um, Shino, Ascension, Noct, Moon, yeah. and then Origins. Yeah. So there's got to be one on Varuk. There's got to be one on Kino. And Shang. And then Shang, and that's it. Yeah. Are you ready to end run? Uh, yep, we're good. I got the HVK, so. Nice. Uh, Rag, Outbreak, and Austin, and Jonathan. Welcome to the stream, guys. Okay. I'm going to head the... charge of zombie development, what would I add or do? I, honestly, like, people ask that question, like, oh, yeah, if you could make a perk or if you could make a gobble gun, what would it be? Like, I just have no idea what I would do. Like, the creative process that comes yeah. through to make You have to think things. about so much. You, yeah, you got to think about so much, because it's like, there's, there's so many ideas for things, like... Yeah. I think um, it was cool how they introduced like boss fights, but I feel like they need to like add more mechanics into it, like rather than just the base sort of. Yes. Oh, you got a boss, just shoot it. I thought it was really? in DE. It was huge because it was like we saw the one in Shadows, and it was like okay, it's not really a boss fight, but it is at the same time. Yeah. But like in DE, that's where they turned it up to like eleven. It was like holy yeah. Jesus, this is insane. Like <laughs> and then like they looking at the <laughs> keeper, and it's like what is going on right now? Uh, and then the next few DLCs, they're all like, oh, let's turn it down a bit. <laughs> they, yeah, they really like. Gorods was intense, and that was cool, yeah. but like, even still, it just feels very, like, copy-paste. Like, oh, you've yeah. got this big guy in the middle, and then you've got zombies, and... I, I would love to have, like, just mechanics in it, though, because, I mean, the, uh, D, they had, like, a sort of wipe mechanic, which was obviously when the lightning came down. Yes. Um, which was, you know, I, I kind of like that sort of thing, but I feel like if they were going to introduce that more often, I feel like they'd have to do, like, a sort of catchment thing where... You go into the boss fight, you get like a few attempts at it. Yep. And then after those few attempts, then you won't be able to do it again until you redo the Easter egg. Mm -hmm. I, I think, feel like that. I, like, I liked it. Cool. I think DE was really cool because it was like. They, they, they knew exactly what they were doing with that lightning attack when they put it in there. Yeah. They knew that they the like, first people that came into that boss fight were going to go in there and they were going to be like, what is going on? We have no idea. And then die immediately to the lightning. Yeah. And that's, that's literally exactly what happened to, like, three different groups, too. The first three people that got in there was just like, oh, yep, this is really cool, yeah. wow. Let's just keep running around, and then it's like, nope, you're done, lightning. Yeah. I think the worst problem with that is that then you've got, um... The first few people, like, the people who have actually gone through the Easter egg, like, first try, like, first... Well, the first people to get through the whole thing and just do the boss fight. Yep. They're not going to be the first people to complete the Easter exactly, egg. Exactly, because then someone's going to come in, find all the steps, and then snipe it yeah. when they know what to do. Yeah, because they they're like, oh yeah, we know all like the little niche at the end yep. that we can and we we avoid. You, it's 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 it it does give that very easily because it's like, oh, you solved the entire Easter egg. Well, you died on the boss fight, so now we're here and we saw you die and we know how to work this step, so we're gonna do it. Yeah, right. I'm down in Alcarim, so I'm just gonna be a bit tricky to get back up. Okay, take your time. All right, see you, Lewis. Have yeah. a good one. I think I might be able to get up, but I'm not sure. The worst part is a staircase. Yep, that hey, staircase is pretty awful. You good? Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I think I now need something with dead wire on it. Yeah. Because Blast Furnace doesn't activate it often enough. Yep. Yeah, so I got so used to uh, having the uh, ICR that I accidentally traded my Vesper out for it. Oh, God. But, I mean, I have the HPK, so, I mean, it's... Well, yes. back to one pack punch weapon, but it's... Better than the Vesper, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, dear, right. Yeah, I've got no Widow's Vines, so I could go down this corner quite easily. I'm gonna throw a monkey and try to go get an alchemical real quick. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Because I am low Save on them. my Wonder Wall. Right, I'm gonna. Ch oh, is a. Uh... Right, I'm throwing another monkey. Sweet, I got alchemical. Nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna so get this death machine. Try to use that. See if we get a max, and then I'm gonna pop my alchemical if we don't. Yeah. All right. I got carpenter. All right. I'll get back in this room so we can speed everything up. Yep. 
We should be able to get through this round with the death machine, I think. All right. Steve is currently on 116 of Rope Dam. Uh, we'll cap the leaderboards too. Nice. I think that's one off record at the moment. 116. I think it's 170 yeah. is the record. Yeah. So he's one off. So yeah, oh, well, I was watch I was watching a stream before uh, we started, and yeah. he took the dumbest down. I saw that. Yeah. He had like oh two downs in God. one round. Yeah. Like the first one made sense, but then the second one was just a mess. Yep. All right. This is on me. I'm gonna go down. Yeah. No. Oh my god. Why well, I got our chemical. Yeah. Last furnace came in clutch. Right. I need yeah. to hit Gobblegum Machine again. Probably a good idea. Need that bullet boost. Okay, the HVK is in here. Hey, got bullet boost. <laughs> Sweet. How, how, how it's useful. 119 is the record. Okay. Okay. So, gotcha. so he's close. Hey, I got, I got dead wire first hit. Nice. That's gonna help speed things along. Yeah. When I first thought about doing carp on this map, I I thought maybe I don't know what like what would be best. Like it'd be um, like someone rocking out like maybe blast furnace and dead while like out here, and then like mm -hmm. the person with the wop is obviously doing the main bit of like the bulk, like the bulk of the work. Yeah. And um, oh, I'm red screen. Shit. Sure. So oh. <laughs> this is so sketch. What? This gets yeah, very like... sketchy real quick. Oh shit, I got no dead wire <laughs> left. Rip. Lovely. Right. I'm just gonna try fire in the wall. Yeah. What's going on, Zombie DJ? How you doing, man? And our crowd are welcome back, man. Right. I'm so tempted to make a like a sort of run to uh, uh, what you call it, the ICR right now, but I know that is not a good idea. I mean, I'm about to probably pop an alchemical soon. I okay, got a decent cool. bit of ammo. But, yeah, I've like I have no uh, Mark II ammo, so yeah, she gets nothing here, dude. Yeah. When I first did this shot, it's just it's, it's so much fun though. Oh yeah, it's I would imagine. I'd imagine it's a lot yeah. easier to manage in solo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost completely out on everything. Oh, that's the end of the round, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, I'm throwing just about. All right. Hey, we got forty though. Yeah, we got forty. That's good. Yeet. I'm gonna. All right, I got another alchemical, so. Yeah. There's a. There was another strat on this map, which isn't as quick, but I didn't know whether like it'd be best to do uh, kitchen first of all. Yeah. Because kitchen is obviously fast as hell. Oh, kitchen the... is super fast, dude. It's yeah. Crazy. But Especially... there's a, there's a strat in the Elkar room, where you keep the spawn door closed. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure whether that would have been better for co-op or not, mm -hmm. but I guess you have to play that around with it be. until you find. I feel like yeah. if it's more like if it's safer, then it would probably be better for like ammo yeah. Cons conservation. Yeah, because this one's very heavy on. Should have said when I was coming back up. It's very heavy on the WAF ammo, is the thing. Yeah. Wait, I'm already out of what is mine? What? Oh yeah. Of course. All right, there's a zombie behind us. No, oh, dead. This could be messy. Nah, I got a chemical on now. Oh, I'm down. Rip. Yeah, I was on red screen. I just I started healing. Yeah, it's crazy. They spawn like as they're dying. Yeah. This is like super fast. Yeah. It's mad. I'm pretty sure a 50 on this map, you could probably get in like, if you have like perfect box, like you could probably get in like less than an hour, mm -hmm. easily. Dang. That's crazy. But that's with, that's with perfect luck, so. <laughs> Running no perks now, boy. Yeah. <laughs> the best. Yeah. Right. The hardest part about this is literally just, um, keeping ammo. Yep. <laughs> but you can't really keep ammo in a strat like this, really. Not really, dude. It's crazy. Yeah. 
Alright. What's going on, Abdullah? How you doing, man? I'm doing great, thanks for asking, dude. Imagine if there was a gun on this wall. <laughs> right out here. Oh, that'd be so nice. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm red screen. Oh, same. <laughs> You two should get uh, Wonder Waffer. Uh, I don't think we'd get on uh, uh, Summer Records if we did that. No. Yeah. I'm just gross OP. Why am I not getting perks, like, in my little gap of time that I've got now? That's a good let's question. Do that. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna be able to get... Um, Widow's Wine in time. Yeah. Because trying to get them in that um, power room, like that area, is just gonna be horrible. Oh, I would imagine it is. Ooh, I don't know which perks to get though. I got slap pan and jug, but oh wait, you can hold the um, winner's wine grenades again. Wait, can you? Yeah. Wait, so you can? Act I guess that works again. I guess they fix that or whatever. Wait, so their patch was a bug in itself. What the heck? Okay. That's oh, crazy. I'm down again. Yeah, that's my fault, sorry. I'm coming. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, because I'm in jug room. I got plenty of ammo, yeah. dude. There's a lot of zombies coming as well. Hey, we're right about the zombies. <laughs> yeah. Right. Don't worry. Right behind you. Right now. Yep. Uh, I'm going down straight away again. Yeah, I just <laughs> I know where to go. It's not good. Right. Yeah, it gets pretty crazy, especially on Verrucked. Verrucked is an insane yeah. map, dude. I feel like it was a bit easier for the whole hoarding thing back in the day. Because obviously you could get past like every gap ever. Mm -hmm. But now Nowadays, it's, just it's just mad. Insane. I think that's the worst part about these maps is that it's now so camp heavy. You have to basically camp yep. everything. It's huge, hugely camp heavy. Like it, it's not, it's not necessarily a bad thing because it can get really intense and it's really fun when it's like that. But yep, it just can be rough. Yeah, probably why Shang feels so much like worse now because it's like you, you still can't camp even if it is, if it, even if it is Black Ops Three. So oh yeah, no, it's rough. Yeah. Honestly, that's so cool that you can do the blast no, thing again. No, no, no! Oh, that sucks so much. I had our chemical and I couldn't get it. And now I'm dead. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Right. Oh, that's rough, dude. Wish I had stamina up right now. <laughs> yeah. Man, that right. sucks. I had our chemical right there. Right, I think what I'm gonna... Oh, shit. <laughs> I've heard that's about the shockwave. It's pretty cool. Right, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy Quirk 5 first, yep. pour them up down there, and then. Okay. Good idea. You know what I've just remembered? Monkeys. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Those are a thing in this map. Yeah. Thank you, an idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead again. Right. Wow, I almost got out of there without with getting Jug. Well, these zombies are annoying me. They like to do that. Right, do you wanna do you wanna head up to the trap and Yeah, let's do that. I guess sit down uh, sit back there. Yeah, we can run this strategy for a bit. Yeah. I don't know how it works, Carp, but this is like I think it's like probably the only thing that we can It's pretty easy. You just they just come up this window. And yeah. Then they everything kills them on that side. Yeah. Do you wanna start just like running this strength now that we got like no Yeah, that's fine. Basically no perks now. Because I doubt we're gonna be able to keep the kitchen going much longer. Yeah, like, no, no that got way too hectic way too quickly. Yeah. We're just gonna have to watch for this trap though. That's the only issue when that thing wears off. Yeah. Do you want me to hold window and you uh, check trap because you got WAF, so? Yes. And I got dead wife at the window, so it's all good. Sweet. All right, trap's done. All right, nice. All right, do you wanna run? Yep, let's run. Uh, if you need me to shoot some waffle, just let me know. Yeah, I guess I'll do a hold up quick. Right, you got ones behind you. Alright, cool. Following you through. 
Yep, there's like one behind me, so just watch out for him. Yep. All right, they're spawning him uh, in this room now. Yep. Right, do you want to run down now? Yeah. Yep, <laughs> Sorry. Down the stairs. <laughs> oh, right. I think we I have, have to do. Speak right. holy. I think we have this waft. Oh yeah, that's true. Once we get past this think... round, I should be able to get my perka back. Yeah. At least I hope. I don't. I don't think I'm going to use another um, perka, but I'm not I sure. I might not. I'm not sure. Right. I guess I'll kill that horde of good. dead warren then. Right, I'm running up. Right, don't turn on yet. Yep. Got it. Sweet. I don't have any bullet boost, sadly. If I did, I would uh, love to run it. We'd be able to go much higher if I did. I think we could probably yeah. still do kitchen at this point. I think the main problem with kitchen is that you're just always strapped for ammo. Yep. That like was not issue. activating at all right now. Soda fountain's pretty nice, Seth. I need to get more of those. That's my issue. I have so little of them. Uh, uh, run to the other trap, both in each window. Uh, other trap is sketches out. Wait, that's the end of the round. Yep. That's pretty nice. Right, I need to quickly go get ICR ammo. So I guess, should we just start the horde here, I guess? I would imagine, yeah. Great power, I don't want that. Because then we, we can let the, um... Okay, we're gonna have to go. Yep, we'll go this way. Yeah. Oh dear. I don't really know where to start the- oh dear, I'm trapped. Yeah, um, it's, kinda, I'm it's kinda hard to like figure out where to start it. When yeah. you end the round with the trap. Obviously, it's really nice if you start with the trap. So, mm -hmm. right. I would down. love to get a max at some point. That would be nice. Yeah. Do zombies from traps drop? Uh, no, I don't think so. I didn't think they could. I think we're gonna have to rely on uh, getting drops like mid round, I guess. Traps. All right, good. traps ready. I don't want to run too far forward so they don't spawn ahead of us. Yep. Alright, I'm running through. Sweet. Nice. That was easy. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Yeah. It's just getting them grouped up is the hard part. Yeah. It's a shame that uh, you can't just run through the traps now on this. Mm hmm. Because now it just insta downs you basically Makes every it time. It's really hard. Especially I think it's Shino, three. You can't, run, you can't do Shino efficiently anymore. Yeah. Because Flogger Trap was so quick in the old days. Yeah. Can you not uh, run through it anymore? As far as I know, you can't. I haven't that tested sucks. it myself, but... Yeah. I might go into a game and try it out just to see. Yeah, I think I... Um, when I did my first playthrough on it, I I think I... Oh, oh she's out. Oh. All right. I think I tested it, but I didn't know whether it actually worked or not. Yep. Uh, because I don't know if I did it correctly because I never used to do it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, there's a certain way you have to run through it. Yeah. You just gotta, like, go right for it. Yeah. Alright. Um. It's the majority of a horde. Sweet. What's going on, David and Isaiah? How are you guys doing today? I think the main uh, time saver to get the trap back up is in the Alcar room. Yes. Um, there's down. a lot of space in here. Yeah. I'm behind you. Yeah. Oh, did you just get cash back? Yep. Nice. That's pretty nice. Oh dear. Could be trapped on anything right now. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple zombies up here. Traps good. Okay, or I'm making my way up. I will be up here. You bring them around. Yeah. Alright, got it. We did. Nice. Awesome. It's not too hard to circle around like that. It's it's definitely slow, but it's safer. It's much safer. I would much rather do that than you. You can't just like really insta game over. Yep. Oh, I'm red screen. <laughs> hey, Mr. Clutch, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Here, I'll start rebuilding. 
Right. Uh, How long does the trap last now? I think it's 40 seconds. 40 seconds, yep. And they take a minute to recharge. Yeah. It used to be different on the old games, doesn't it? I believe so. I think it was a minute for each. Right, right. It's good now. Right. Is that the end of the round already? That's yeah, nice. It might be. I mean, it's only I guess... 42. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could start hitting... Wait, did you get a perker? Ah, uh, yes, I did. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Oh, no, they're still spawning in here. What? <laughs> I'm I confused. <laughs> I was I just assumed it was the end of the round because I didn't spawn in that, um... The hey, toilet Jack, room, how's so. it going, man? Welcome to the stream. God, this could end up being really messy. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because I just went down for some reason. I'm not really <laughs> no. sure how that happened. Literally sprinting away from the zombie and they they still hit me like six times in a row. Oh, red screen. I'm throwing a monkey, so that's probably a good idea. I don't I don't want to run too close to the monkey because I'm red screen. Yeah. Uh. They could have patched that they hurt you because I don't know. I, I yeah. didn't look like I was taking damage when I touched one yeah. earlier, but. Who knows? I don't think I don't think I did either, but I'm just not gonna risk it just in it's case. It's not worth the risk. Try it. At this yeah. Point. Right, you got some zombies behind you. I'll try and do like a hold up in there, quick. Okay. I think we might be at the end. I've got a lot. I'm going down. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> wow, this got messy since uh, kitchen. <laughs> yes, got messy messy real quick. <laughs> Oh, hello. That's a lot of zombies. Yeah, there's a oh, lot. They need to use this, dude. They hit fast. I'm so glad the wolf now, um... Kills really well, Actually, yeah. Yeah. Well, we say kills really well. It doesn't really, but... It do <laughs> it, oh it, my god, dude! Oh dear, I'm holding up with that jug now. This is insane, because it's like... You shoot the wolf, and then it looks like they're dying. Oh, it's just game over. Oh, sorry. Damn. <laughs> that. that was a good game, though. Yeah, that was fun. I'll take 42. I mean, it's crazy because it's yeah. like, you sh the problem I have with the WAF is like, you shoot it and it looks like they're dying, but there's that one zombie hiding in the horde that's still yeah. alive, and he just ends your day real there's, fast. There's a few that get like frozen, mm -hmm. and then they then start running after they've been frozen, you're just like, well, cheers. <laughs> yep. Cheers, Jim. I'll take that though. I mean, 42 for two people, that's good. Yeah. I have no problem with that. There's obviously, uh, there's probably a, like a really optimal strategy for co-op, mm -hmm. but I would considering imagine we're running kitchen and... Uh, I've seen people do the trap strategy. I mean, it, it would have worked so much better had I have had bullet boost. Yeah. I think we definitely could have gotten rounds going through much faster, but yeah, for sure. it would have been safer too. I think kitchen would have been safer if I had uh, dead wire or something. Yeah. But... Yeah, you got six divinium. How oh, wonderful. I got two crate powers and two disorderly combats. Hey. Can't beat that. Not at all. Oh, I got, oh, I got a crate power mm. back from... There, so that's nice. I'll take that. Oh, yeah. See, secret shopper. Oh, yeah. That's gobblegum. That's gobblegum in the game, dude. That thing what is were they thinking with that tier. thing, honestly? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's Just, going on, Quan? How you doing today, man? It does not work with one of the weapons. Oh, I got 43 minutes till I can get more distills. That crate power one's pretty good. Yeah. Even that Pop Shocks one is good. Like, I don't I use Pop Shocks one. often, but six Pop Shocks for two Secret Shoppers, like... Secret Shopper's pretty bad. Yeah, I've got 41 Pop Shocks at the moment, so I don't think I need more, but... Dang. I have... I have 41, too. Look at that. Hey, nice. <laughs> if it was 42, that would have been uh, kind of cool, because that was the round we got to. So. Yep. That was a good game. Yeah, it was. 2,000 kills, Vortis. almost 3,000. That's crazy. All right. Yeah. I think that's going to be the end of the stream today, boys. So uh, we got to round 42 on Varukt with two people. So that's really good. I'm happy with that. It was an awesome game. Well. It was great getting to play with Gaff. Um, yeah, and yourself, man. Yeah. So uh, thanks for coming out, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And uh, that is going to be it for us. So you guys can check out all the links in the description. You guys know the stuff. Um, everything that's down there. 
uh, all the things that we have. Definitely join, join the Discord server because I usually like to hang out in there after stream. Um, but uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. I'll probably be back either tomorrow or I might stream later tonight. We'll see again. I've got the whole day free, so maybe I'll do something later tonight. Um, but if not, then I will most likely be back tomorrow morning. So uh, thanks for coming out, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.